Mason, yes. I need you to shut up and listen. Oh. <laughs> the small screen, the boob tube, the television broadcasting system. This will all come together, don't worry. I was gonna I was gonna say. I'm reading your thing. Wait, sorry, I've got to shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up! Oh. <laughs> no matter what you call it, we've spent some time in front of it. Comic Bento is proud to present this month's theme. I call it the Telemovision. Shut up! Oh. I mean, okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> As seen on TV. Now you can say a thing. Yep. But wait, there's more. Oh. This month's Bento will feature a special TV themed bonus item. It's a Mr. Ed hand puppet. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Wouldn't it though, right? <laughs> Bring it back. It's also a peanut butter spread. Because that's how they got the <laughs> That's how they got in the to talk. Talk. Yeah. Oh. Sorry for being so rude. That was a that was unnecessarily cruel, but I apologize. What do you know of know of Comic Bento though? I think they're right. It's the subscription service where they send you the bloody box Oh, you of- wanted facts. I want okay. facts, Mason, you didn't not want opinions. Feelings. You didn't want opi- <laughs> opinions and feelings. All right. Yeah. It's a subscription service. It they is. send you graphic novels every month. Box them every month. <sighs> You get stuff from like Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, whatever. But you can also get some more indie kind of stuff. Some yes. stuff that you might not necessarily find down the back of your fridge. I have almost no comic <laughs> books at the um, behind the back of my fridge, although I've never checked. That's so. Yeah, well, that's I made a first thing when you get home. Yeah. Uh, if you, when uh, you assume you make an ass out of you and me. It doesn't work when we say ass no. in our, in our yeah. accent. Assume. <laughs> assume, yeah. Uh, you have until September 15th uh, to make sure that your DVRs are set. <laughs> is that a fresh, fresh drink? <laughs> it sounded really fresh. Yeah, it's right. right yeah. Uh, uh, Act now. Supplies are limited. So yeah, September fifteenth. If you want to sign up for the, um, the comic bento box for the month, it's all about the small screen. Mm. That's the hint, Mason. That's the thing. It's a mystery. Uh-huh. Like you said, we know for a fact that there will be a Mister Red peanut butter spread a hand puppet. puppet. Correct. That we know. That we know for sure. Now normally it's just comic books, but also there's a, there's a bonus item this month, which Very is really nice. good. I'd be happy with just the comic books if I was honest, Mason, but I'll take a bonus item. Also, if you want to take get uh, $5 off, use the promo code PLANET. Sorry, the weekly planet. One word. If you go to comicbento.com. Love it. It's, it's, that's, that's as nearly as cheap as free. Not quite, but it's pretty good. Even if you go with like the most expensive one, it's like 25% off. And it's like a little gift to yourself. It's a gift to yourself. Or a love. We, we always go, it's a gift. You, you, you give it to a loved one. Don't give it to a loved one. What are you, an idiot? You just give it to yourself. It's All right. great. All right, Mason, let's do the show. Let's do it. Red hot comic book movie news. Shooting up your butthole. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekly Planet, official podcast of comicbookmovie.com, where we talk movies, comics, TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co-host, Nick Mason. 150, 150, 150, <laughs> one, century and a half, century and a half. That, that about sums up the, the, yeah. <laughs> how we've been going. Yeah. Yeah. What progress we've made in 150 <laughs> episodes. It's just me shouting incoherently again. Absolutely. Now, are you in favour of doing something extra special that we definitely haven't planned or just doing a regular episode? Uh, which which way is a superhero showdown? The re- regular, I guess. Oh, then we'll do that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. It's a crowd favourite, Mason. It is. It's a crowd pleaser. Exactly. So why Also, not we, got a, we got uh, the listeners, the weekly wacky to do is to send in suggestions. Correct. And if we don't do them now, yeah. they'll disappear in Twitter forever. Like, That's we'll right. We'll never be able to find them again. They'll be so. gone. Yeah. But Mason, as you know, which you would know because this is your 150th episode, we got to do the news. Don't look first. a day over 120. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah. What's that? Three years, nearly? Yeah. Fuck's sake! All right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Mason, did yes. you see the Guardians of the Galaxy concept art? Yes, I did. Just one piece. They're out in space. They're out in space. Mm-hmm. They're up against it, though, aren't they? Yes. Do you know what the name of the creature was? Was they were fighting? I feel. That you've sprung this on me, yeah, I have. and I don't know what it is, and you've looked it up. Correct. Well, it's not a real, th- it's not a real thing. It, none of it's real. It's not from the comics. What? <laughs> it's, it's not from the comics. James Gunn said it was the Abelisca. I can't. I don't even really know. With that uh, think, A at the end? Yeah, there's an A. Huh? It's Abelis S K A, like scar, like the music. Abelisca. Scar. Yeah. It's like a Tyrannosaurus. Obelisca. Head. Obelisca. Obelix. They're fighting Obelix. Oh, I like from that From the Asterix guy, cartoons. He fell into the cult of a potion. When he, he was, was a baby, strong, so he's always super strong. Yeah. I liked him. Uh-huh. Yeah, what do you think? It looks great. It, interesting, though, most of the team are just... They're just wearing the little... The oh, little, the masky little mask. spacey, breathy masks. Well, I guess most of them uh, can be in space for a limited amount of time. Yeah. Because they've uh-huh. all got enhancements. That's true. Uh, 
Peter Quill, we know Fanner can survive, you know, a little for a little bit of time. Uh-huh. Also, he's not entirely human. That's true. As, as we discovered. Also, it's concept art, so yeah. <laughs> maybe they're just in front of a back, backdrop at a train station or something like. Oh, sure, that's some that's some street graph. You know, it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's some of that G-rated uh, graffiti that I love so much. <laughs> that's right. You love Scar. space octopus. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so apparently, this is a monster that the Guardians have been hired to fight. Okay. So I guess the acting is kind of a yeah, like a like the Expendables, but. But fun and good, and people right. enjoy their movies. Now, when he says yes, <laughs> this, uh, so it's a monster they've been hired to fight. At I presume at the start of the movie, right? And yeah, then it's going to lead into something. I bigger. think so. I don't think yeah. if this was like the big thing, no, that they would know about it. Yeah. it. This is pest control, basically. Exactly. Mm. Did you see the little baby Groot banging about? Yes, I did. Apparently, he's not going to grow. It. Like that's going to be him for the whole movie. He's not going to kind of cool. uh, Groot out. If, if, if that's an expression. <laughs> it's D's out because it's been Diesel. <laughs> of course. Yeah, he's not going to D's out at any moment. <laughs> Looks great though. It's, it's yeah. coming out. It's like next April or something. How do you think they're going to do the group voice? I mean, it's still that's a, Vin- that's a good question. I yeah. hadn't even considered that. Are they going to use Vin Diesel's normal girly voice? <laughs> is that how they're going to do it? His, vo- his normal voice is much different, isn't it? Yeah. Not girly, I would say, but yeah, it's def- he doesn't have that. Do you think it's going to be squeaky? Uh, I think so. They'll uh, have to do something, right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. You've... What, if it, what if it's just regular person voice? That would be okay too. But he's got little lungs. I don't yep. see how that would work. <laughs> Apparently they're going to play with the idea of whether it really is the same. Right. Like yeah. it, Well, it is technically because he's he, from that twig or whatever. Uh-huh. But and he's got all the memories, but he's kind of, he's different. It's a Star Trek 3 scenario. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Search for Spock. Exactly. Yeah. The best Star Trek. Mm-hmm. The one, Well, the one with Christopher Lloyd. Isn't that six? No, that's three. He's the Klingon guy. In six? No, he's three. Is he not in six as well? No, he Kirk kicks him off a cliff huh. in three. Doesn't he's mean like, he can't you be back for six. That's true. Uh. It is Star Trek. Yeah. All right, Mason. <laughs> let's do the next bit of news. Okay, great. Now, shockingly this week, it was announced by the... <laughs> Now, shockingly, this week it was announced that the Russo brothers. Just want to point out that that, that was the second take because I coughed. <laughs> yes. And James has presumably edited it out. Of course I have. Hasn't. No, I have. Oh. I'm a professional. Okay. 150 episodes, Mason. I think, I, I think I've got a handle on it by now. <laughs> Next week, somebody <laughs> sends us in like a supercut of just me coughing. Just 150 <laughs> episodes of me going, <laughs> you're not editing it out. That'd be great. What are we talking about? Uh, so, yeah, the Russo brothers have, have confirmed that Captain America is no longer. Captain America. That's right. Now so, it was presumed. Did you presume that? After yeah, the end of because Civil he's, War? yeah, because he gives up the shield. shield. Give, gives up the shield. Traditionally, that means he's not Captain America. Correct. Correct. No more. No more. Yeah. So that's it. That's. I mean, I guess that's nice to get confirmation. But yeah. people are saying, does this make way for the variations on the Captain America yeah. character? So Nomad, Cap Wolf. <laughs> sure. Yep. Other ones, presumably. Yeah. Um, the Captain. Which, oh, is that when he was like? I'm sick of USA and I'm sick of Watergate or whatever. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you think we're going to be getting any of that? I'm just going to be the captain, captain of what? Shut up. <laughs> and thought it through. I thought it sounded good. Um, I think we are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The question is, where's the shield going to go? Yeah. Because he's busted Falcon out of jail, right? Correct. He busted them all out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it, it's not going to be passed to him, presumably. No. And Bucky's in frozen storage. Yeah. So, are we going to get a US agent, maybe? I would love to who's see gonna a US get the, agent. Who's going to get the shield, yeah. Yeah, so you think maybe a new character. Yeah. I would love that. Or a Who, nuke character. Well, nukes... Yeah, yeah they wouldn't, they cross, wouldn't yeah. bring him in. <laughs> they wouldn't cross him over. Nah. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think, who's who, who was on Stark's team that could have it? Vision? Yeah. <laughs> Cla- classic combo. Does that, Do those colours clash, though? Yes. <laughs> Atrocious. I won't have it. Unless they repainted the Vision. Red, white, okay, and blue. Okay, sure, yeah. Yeah. Like they did War Machine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about War Machine? And the shield doesn't need it. That, no, I know that, but it's it's symbolic. It's nah. a symbol for symbolism. It cut down on his aerodynamics. You know yeah, what I mean? guess it would. Maybe yeah. that big minigun on, on his, his shoulder. Oh, yeah, big on his head. But the big minigun on his shoulder probably, that probably cuts down aerodynamics. That's true. Yeah. I'm just so go- what you're saying is like put a, put the shield on a stick and put it down the barrel of a minigun. <laughs> like, like a tropical, <laughs> like an umbrella in a tropical drink. It, that's exactly what That'd I'm saying. It. I think that would do it. Yeah, so we so we got Black Widow. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be Black Widow. No, Spider Man. It's not going to be Spider Man. Uh, well, it could be Black Widow, I guess. She could probably. She wouldn't take it. Nah, now. She probably wouldn't. No. Yeah. Um, also, she did shoot Black Panther all those times. Oh, she did, didn't yeah. she? Uh-huh. Yeah, he didn't love that. Maybe Renner. Ooh, no, I reckon new character. Uh-huh. I reckon new character. They're like this is, and it'll be it'll be the US, USA. It'll be a US agent new kind of thing where they 
super enhance him. Yeah. And he's more powerful than Captain America. But, but he's, he's mental. Bad, he's bad news. He's bad news. But when do you slot that in? Do you put that into the Infinity War movie? Oh, yeah. Because there's, there's all... Like, do you think they'll just have it on storage and then when Captain America comes out, they're like, here's your, here's your shield back. We, it, was, we oh. have, it was in a drawer. No, I reckon there's time for it. You do, you do like a press conference. Right. Like uh, Iron Man 3 style where you bring out the new recruit. Right. And... You know, you see Cap see him on TV and be like, this guy. Prick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't have given that shield up. I mean, there was no reason for me to give the shield up ultimately. I'd beaten Stark and he was on the ground and I could have just taken it. By beaten, do you mean like he beat him or he severely beat him or both? Both of those things. Good, yeah. yes. Mm. Excellent. Uh, I could have taken the shield. I regret it now. <laughs> and then maybe, you know what? May, maybe just it might just be brief. It might just be, yeah. and then he has to get from... There might just be a scene where he has to get from one room in a, in a like a secret headquarters to another. Right, right. And US agents in the way with the shield, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna beat you up, and I'm gonna take the shield back because that's what I'm about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'd love that. Me too. And now that I have it, here you go, Falcon. <laughs> you cut down on some of your aerodynamics with this, this shield because it wouldn't work for him either. No. He puts on it's on his arm. <laughs> He'd always be twirling to the left. He'd be going in circles. <laughs> he would too. Yeah. And also he like uses... Like a bird that's been hit in the head <laughs> and the, 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 magnet, shield. And the magnetic thing's gone. You know what right, I mean? Right, yeah, I get you. Mm -hmm. And also his wings are shields. That's true. He doesn't he's already it. got shields. He's already got shields. Yeah. I, I want to see Bucky take it, but I don't know whether 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 they even need to give it to somebody else. Mm. Like, I don't know whether... I'm, I'm, I don't know if they're, if they're going to actually give it to a significant character anymore. Yeah. Unless... Because what's his name? Um... The actor. Chris Evans has said he's just going to be Captain America for however long. Yeah, he's like, yeah, uh -huh. I'll keep doing him, whatever. Absolutely, yeah. So we'll see. Mm, yeah. Apparently, oh, sorry. Go what if, I was going to, well, you probably got something nah. good to say, but I was nah, going to say, don't. why don't you get, why don't you just, just tape the shield to Bucky's stump? <laughs> yeah, that'll just, do Just it. wrap some duct tape around him. <laughs> That's one of the things He'd that would be really good at that Homer Simpson running in a circle yeah, on the floor. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And it would remain there until he shot enough times the duct tape comes off and then it falls into a river or whatever. That, that's one of the things that annoyed me in Civil War. Yeah. Remember when one of the bad guys throws a grenade and Captain America flips his shield over so, so it's like a dome over it and he puts it down and it blows up. Right. And I'm like, that would have wrecked the straps. How's he going to How's he gonna hold that for the rest of the movie? How's he going to hold it? I didn't even notice. Straps it, aren't made of anime. Is it they? straps or is it metal or is it magnetic in that one? I guess it doesn't matter regardless. No, it's straps it. in that one. Yeah. Because yeah. you see him. Give it the old, scoop it up. Give, give it the old scoop, scoop of a dupe. dupe. Yeah, I get yeah, you. Yeah. Great. Um, now, the Russo brothers also said that one of the ideas for Captain America 3, yeah. if they couldn't do Civil War, which is which was the ideal situation, they're going to introduce the Mad Bomb, which turns people into like zombie-like berserkers. So uh -huh. the movie would have been Captain America dealing with beating up regular people <laughs> who are sort of zombies. But you can't really do zombies because it's, it's this... It's this kind of PG thirteen universe, yeah, right. so you can't have him like just severing heads. And... That sounds like a Captain America movie from the seventies. <laughs> Captain America versus the Mad Bomb, <laughs> like like Get Smart versus the Nude Bomb. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh -huh. what, what do you think of that? I mean, I don't think that would have been better, but no, mm. been much. What a what a bizarre backup plan they have there. <laughs> I'm well, sure that this, was one got, of like we've fifty got, things. We've got this amazing script <laughs> here, and it's got thrills and chills and laughs and and good action sequences sure. goofs and gaffs goofs and gaffs <laughs> and like like a really creative battle sequences between all these amazing superheroes or we could just have Captain America just running at a whole bunch of berserker regular humans and just beating them up in a line just 90 <laughs> minutes of that just thwack punch also that also if they did do that I'd be, I'd be I, I kind of want to see Marvel Zombies I don't yeah. know how we could see it or if they'd ever do it mm -hmm. but I feel like that's kind of a cop out like the way they did Stark's drinking it's kind of yeah. piss poor, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, just sort of in and out. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. What? Mer? You Mer? got something to say? I went to say something, but then... What? But you didn't audibly do anything, so it's just going to look like I had a stroke. Yep. <laughs> well, you've Sound been on your like, way. Like, yeah. <laughs> the, There's been enough foreshadowing, in, I feel, in the show in the last 149 episodes that if it was built into you having a stroke in this episode, people would be like, yeah, I get it. Someone make a supercut of my, remember, my remember gradual the time, decline. Remember all the times you couldn't pronounce antimicrobial? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's on his way. Did you have a thing to say? No. Ugh. Or if I did, I forgot it. Good stuff. Mm. Uh, you saw the onset photos of Anthony Hopkins as Odin. I did. People have labelled him Hoboden. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Didn't think of it, but yeah. you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I guess... Deity that derelict. <laughs> That's very good. Thank you. Uh, so 
Loki's on the throne of Asgard, uh-huh. obviously, so he hasn't killed Odin. I, I yeah. thought he was in, would have imprisoned him, but I like that. He's kind of He's sent him, him mad and banished him the way that Thor was banished. So how long has he been on Earth then since? I guess since 2014, uh-huh. whenever that movie I guess he out, would have 13? had plenty of time with all the dimensions all sure. flipping, flipping about. You would have just, just go back to Asgard for a second, boot him in a... <laughs> just, just boot him in a boot him to earth. Boot him under them holes. Yeah. What I think's interesting though, Thor got kicked to Earth and uh-huh. he got it together fairly quickly. Yes. Odin just fall, falls apart. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he just can't go. He's got no skills. Yeah. He's not adaptable. <laughs> no, he's really not. Yeah. He's too old. I liken to the uh, the fact that my mum now has an iPhone but she refuses to text. I think it's like it's like that. Odin's arrived in the modern world, and he's just like not getting nah, a job. Not gonna, not going to do any of this. Not going to do any of this stuff. Subway token? No, thank you. I <laughs> not just happening. Live in the street. I can't die. So I just whatever. I just, yeah, yeah. So I think they're going to have to go back and get him at at some point. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he's going to become some kind of doom doomsday prophecy guy. Because uh-huh. if it's Ragnarok, yeah, well then yeah, that that mm. that totally works. So no, I think that's interesting. Unless Loki like messed with his memories and that, which is entirely possible. Yeah, I think he would have, because otherwise, what's he... Mm. Surely he would, because, I mean... Thor, I mean, Odin knows Jane Foster. He would yeah. know of the Avengers. He like, would just go to yeah. Stark headquarters. He knows Stellan Skarsgård. He does know... Oh, Stellan Skarsgård would be right there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Running around pantsless. <laughs> Running around, just, just twitching. He'd be yeah. so happy to help out. But, Absolutely. Yeah, no, it must be. It's got to be a memory thing. Mm. Mm. Cat Dennings. Yep. That was hard to watch in the second one. <laughs> From memory. I always like also when they do, when they're like on set photos of this character, yeah. there's always, it's always a split and it's one where they're all serious and in character and there's one where it's just like Anthony Hopkins. A wink like, and a nod. Hey. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before, there's, there's one more bit of Marvel news, but we, before we talk about that, uh, people want us to talk about the Guardians trailer. Now, this isn't Guardians Not, of the Galaxy. Yeah. This is a Russian superhero movie. My experience with Russian superhero movies is... Total garbage. Disappointment. Yeah. It, Day watch, it, night watch. Yeah. Which a lot of people love. Yeah, I found nonsensical and there's a guy yeah. called the bear who, who always says he's... turn into a bear. He always, he always <laughs> boasts that he's going to transform into a bear. He never turns into a bear. This trailer. Oh, boy. Straight up bear man. Yeah. Although we don't see him transform into a I bear. I think he's just a bear man. No, he's all, he's the regular guy. Oh, is he? He's, there's a guy there. That right at the end of the trailer, they're like, we've built you all these... Super special suits for your superpowers, and he's like, "Where's mine?" Yeah, that's him. That's the bear. Oh, gun. okay, right. Yeah. And they like, just gave him a minigun. A minigun. Yeah. Now you're a minigun aficionado, so I know people want to hear your <laughs> take on this. You love a minigun minute. I do. It's yes, a famous that's recurring true. segment. Yeah, look. So far, it's very CGI. It's Russian. It's right. Ru- yes, <laughs> there was some. It's it's. This trailer had some a very odd mix of real stuff the, and CGI. The the quad tank walking thing I thought looked quite good. That looked great. Yeah, but other times not as good. And there was a. There's some. There was a scene in I think daytime where there's there's a whole like just a whole, you know all these ranks of trucks and tanks and stuff moving along and I'm like oh that's that's real stuff real or stuff. it looks real at least but then there's another one where it's nighttime and there are all these sort of trucks converging on a, a character in the center and it's just awful CGI and they're all like all the tanks are moving in like the this unison that would only work if it, they're just. 3D models paste, moving together, yeah, yeah, yeah. cut and paste, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. What do you, what do you think? What do you, what do you, what do you bloody, what do you reckon about it? I don't like it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I mean, it looks fun, whatever. Yeah, it's just, not, it's not my thing. You know what? It's a, it's an oddly cut trailer. Yeah, like sure. it's oddly, it feels like a trailer from the 80s. Okay, like you know, there's the but with slightly better special effects. Yeah, like the Batman '89 trailer, I think. Right. Okay. Which sure. is oh, the pacing wise, the you pacing mean, yeah. wise, and it's just got like odd scenes sort of smack together yeah, yeah. but it's got it's got that modern day sensibility of this fast action and these slow-mo bits and all that sort of stuff but they haven't quite put it together right, so right. it's oddly paced maybe I will see it you've convinced me was that you where are, where are you, you going to see it where are you yeah, going to see you're it right. I guess torrent I guess right. I don't know because it's not going to get a cinema release here no and like it's going to be months before it's on Netflix or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe if, straight to Netflix. Maybe, yeah. That's it. Look, yeah, look, I'm, I'm, it's I'm not, not... I'm not paying nine ninety nine for it. <laughs> let me tell you. I'll oh, just FYI, I said last week I was going to watch Hardcore Henry. I didn't get around to it. Well, that can be your what are you reading for this week. Oh, <laughs> you can just, just say it again. <laughs> it does very much remind me, though, of that Nightwatch, Daywatch kind of yeah. situation. Did you see Ben-Hur? Because it's the same director as Nightwatch, Daywatch. Oh, also, and... You also did Wanted. Yeah. 
Berskaflov. Tim Tim Man Timon Timon Berskaflov. Timon Berskaflov. Yeah, so you didn't obviously see Ben Hur. No. What were they thinking? Putting a yes. hundred million dollars into a fucking Ben Hur movie uh-huh. in 2016. Now, was b- the- Are you out of your mind? There's no nobody. It wasn't me. No, sorry. <laughs> Just you know what I'm no, saying? No, exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. What? We're tired of what? Because we're apparently it's not even terrible. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, okay. Is there an homage to the... Apparently, in the previous version of Ben-Hur, mm. in one of the chariot races, they didn't clear the background correctly, and so there's a little red sports car. Just, oh, okay. just somebody driving through the background, like... Woo-hoo-hoo. And there's also a guy that's, like, actually trampled to death. Oh, they left was there an the homage movie. to that? I hope so. So you saw it? No. Okay. Come on. All right. Get out of here. It's not it's not something I'm against. If it was on TV, I, I, would, I would watch it, because uh-huh. I've seen Ben-Hur. The original? There's yeah. some good stuff in that would movie. You, see, I wouldn't see if it was on TV. No? Because there'd be so many ads that it'd stretch to like okay. three and a half Netflix hours. Netflix then. Okay. You know what? I'd put it on as I'm editing something else. Okay, great. And my sign for, oh, I want to watch this is I'll stop it. Yeah. I started watching The Little Prince, which is oh, like yes. an animated uh-huh. Netflix thing. I just I put it on. I The Little Prince is. I know, but I'm just telling... There are other people that listen to this. No, <laughs> there aren't. It's not just me and you. No, there aren't. <laughs> the reason I've kept doing this is because you've constantly promised me we're the only two involved in this conversation. <laughs> But I, but like five minutes in, I'm like, you know what? This actually looks good. So I stopped uh-huh. it. So okay. that's the benchmark for me. Right. The Ben. The Benchmark. So do you think this kills the swords and sandals? Do you think that's it? I think it was uh, dead. I mean, it was done, but do you, think, done for a while. do you think that's like the final rock to the head to all <laughs> producers out there? Do you think it's the final trample? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> to the genre that is a man getting trampled. You know, uh, when was the last? See, I mean... Gladiator kicked it off. Yeah, but that was the last, I would say, massively successful one. Yeah. Like, Troy did okay. Yeah. But it didn't, it wasn't critically lauded. No. But it made money. Yeah. And nobody quotes from Troy. Immortality! Take Take it! it! It's It's yours! yours! Okay, just that bit. (laughs) And it's just us. It's just us. We're the only people that do it. Uh, (laughs) No, I don't know. What was the last? I can look it up. Was it? Oh, it was was it Exodus, Gods and Kings? Oh yeah, that tanked as well. Yeah. People hated that. Yeah, yeah. Movies. Was Ben was the you know the the much beloved original Ben Hur? Was that also a remake? I don't know, but okay. it probably was from like a movie from like the thirties. Right, or whatever. exactly. Yeah. I mean, okay, I guess like three hundred counts. Yeah, and but also like Spartacus, the TV series is is like quite successful. There has been incarnations of it that worked, but uh-huh. no. Oh, you know what? Hercules was okay. But did that make that, that doesn't and also that doesn't count. Yeah, because it's not, not like ben a serious and it's not like a serious. That's sword and sorcery. Oh, that's you're right. Not, Even though there wasn't actual sorcery. No, in that but movie. it was there was enough fantastical elements, and it was, and it was irreverent, and it was kind of modern day. Right, you right. You know, it had okay. enough modern day sensibility and reference to it. Yeah, you'd be like, oh, that's a fun film I watch, but this is like, oh, I've got to, I've got to know about the history of Ben Hur. <laughs> yeah. Boo. Uh-huh. Anyway, it's done, isn't it? Yes. What's next, Mason? Uh, <laughs> uh, probably just remake The Shadow again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See how that goes. Give that a bloody go, yeah, mate. Uh-huh. Give that a red hot go. Yeah. Even like Gods of Egypt. I mean, again, that's that's more magic and whatever, but yeah. that did not do well. And that cost like $130 million. Yes, it did. I listened to an episode of How Did This Get Made on it, and it sounds fascinating. I've need to. i I've been wanting to watch it just because yeah. I've heard it's terrible, uh-huh. but I like the idea of a giant snake. You know how it is. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, I love, I love the idea of any of these, this kind of fantasy epic where it's, it's history, but it's also, but, but it turned out that what we think was magic was really high technology or whatever. Right, right, yeah. Like, I like that. I like Stargate. I like yeah. some of the other things. Even like, though Stargate doesn't really hold up. The movie. Yeah, the movie doesn't hold up. Mm. The TV series is fun. Yeah, sure. Mm. Richard Dean Anderson. I exactly. Know Did you see the trailer for the rebooted reboot of the new MacGyver? Oh, they, he's got different hair, doesn't he? Does he does have different hair. Is it better? I didn't watch it. But it's the ha- same guy. It's still yeah. the guy from X-Men, X-Men First Class. Yeah. But it looks a lot better. Okay, good. Yeah. I think James Wan did this pilot. Did Maybe, the new yeah. One. So okay. If that's true, that's a good idea. So yeah. at least the first one will be probably be good. Yeah, because that, that original version looked... It was... You know what? It started at the weird... Like, it was. he just had greasy, long, weird what hair and I hated it. Yeah. And then it was just like... he He's just... He's a special forces operative and we just throw him in with nothing. <laughs> give him a gun. <laughs> give him, give him he'd, anything. He'd probably take a gun. <laughs> probably take a gun. But like this looks a lot better. I don't okay. know. 
I think he's I think he's in a secret society now. Oh, and they do good do good works or something. Looks all right. Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what else might be good works? What's that? Captain Marvel, the movie, which is coming out in Ooh. 2018 or something. Uh-huh. Uh, we know that Brie Larson is Captain Marvel. Yep. We talked about that. Mm-hmm. Great casting. Love it. Uh, they've got, apparently they've nailed it, nailed it down. Nailed it down? Narrowed it down to three directors. Uh-huh. All female. Ooh. Uh, Nikki Caro. Whoa. <laughs> uh, she did Whale Rider uh-huh. and McFarland USA, neither of which I've seen. Oh, McFarland is a it's a Kevin Costner film yeah where he teaches kids to read or something Pfft, whatever <laughs> <laughs> so pretty great pretty I do like Kevin Costner mm-hmm. uh, no it's about running oh that's right he yeah. teaches kids to run that's what I was thinking of look Costner most kids can run you wasted your time <laughs> uh, Leslie Linker Glatter she's done episodes of The Walking Dead and Homeland okay uh, Lorraine Scarfaria the, the meddler seeking a friend at the end of the world. Oh, yeah. Most of that stuff I have not seen, so I have no idea. I mean, Walking Dead and Homeland are okay, depending sure. on the episode. <laughs> uh-huh. But other than that, I don't, I don't really have it, any uh-huh. sense of this at all. Well, Marvel knows what they're doing. Sure. So good for luck. Mo- for the most part. Do you know, have you seen any of those things? No. All right. I've heard Seeking Your Friend's good. Yeah, Steve Carell, right? Yeah. Is that Kira, Kira Knightley as well? Maybe. Mason, I know I'm going against the thing we did in the first episode, but I looked that up. To see who it is, if it is her. Oh, yes. And it is. Oh, it nailed it. hope that comes up in a pub trivia quiz. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that wouldn't even come up in a pub trivia quiz that was solely about the movie Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. <laughs> even if it was just an hour of that, that question would still not come up. Absolutely. Nobody cares. Last bit of news for the week, and it's okay. a big one. All right. Well, it's two bits of news, really. Uh, Gambit has lost another director oh, in Doug Lyman. We're never going to get a Gambit film. Do you care? No. <laughs> uh, so he stepped away from the project. It's lost like two or three at this point. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's it's done, right? Now, Channing Tatum, is he in or out at this point? I think he'd have to be still in, but if I was him, I would jump to either Marvel or DC. Right, yeah. Is that, that's, is that what you'd do? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just Fox, just make Deadpool movies. Right. Just yeah. keep making Deadpool uh-huh. movies. It's fine. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. But the reason, well, part of the reason he's left, I'd say this movie was already done before he left, but uh-huh. he's going to direct Dark Universe, which is a Justice League Dark movie adaptation. Sure. Okay. That sounds pretty good, right? Hmm. Uh, he, in he, theory. In theory, sure. He did uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. A bunch of other stuff. Yeah. That's, that's quite right. good. Uh so no, I think he's. I think he's a great choice. A lot of people are, are kind of like, oh, but doesn't bloody Del Toro going to do it? And remember, he, he for years he was kind of teasing that he was going to yeah, do. Yeah. So Justice League Dark is the Justice League, but it's all magic users. Yeah. yeah. It's all monsters and weirdos uh-huh. and, what, and sure. whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's their Suicide Squad. <laughs> In a way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love the idea of a Justice League Dark movie. They've got an animated feature coming out soon. Yeah, it's true. Which yeah. I'm excited mm-hmm. for. That should be good. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you think? Excited. Yeah, although mm. I have to wonder who's going to be on the team. Right. Oh. And are we going to care about the team? Well, I I think it's... What's the standard team? Constantine? Yep. About, about Swamp Thing? Swamp Thing. Well, the Ruben, Ruben names for Constantine in the past were Colin Farrell, Ewan McGregor. Yep. Which do which of them? If you had to pick one. Uh, Ewan McGregor. Me too. Mm-hmm. Even though I like Colin Farrell. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and Ron Perlman is Swamp Thing. Okay, sure. That's, I mean, that's yeah. perfect, right? Yeah. Mm. And who I else? think he probably just, these days, he probably just sleeps in like one of those, like one of those like shells. Like head molds? Yeah, like a head mold. <laughs> he probably just sleeps in one because he's like, okay, I'm not Hellboy today. All right. And he just goes to sleep in a head mold. They wake up, they've molded him in a swamp thing. And he's like, all right, here we go. <laughs> uh, pretty good. So, no, I'm all for, I think Dead Man, maybe. Yeah, Dead Man will be yeah, in, he'd be in it. Dr. Fate will probably be Right, in yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, like, it's, it's again, it's a case of they're forming a team, but we don't know any of the members yet. Right, exactly. Oh, I I'm mean, just, comic just... book fans do, but yeah, how, sure. how is the general audience going to get on board with these people they don't know at all? Yeah, yeah. Some of which are always wearing a helmet, some of which are a big, disgusting, gross swamp man. <laughs> Zatanna? Yeah, okay, she'll She's be in, in it. it yeah. so. Sure. Great, I'm all for it, Mason. <laughs> Me too. I'm bloody... Me too. They're gonna knock Doctor one- Occult, maybe. Okay. Might be in it. They're gonna knock one out of the not park. Not a real doctor. <sighs> doctor Fate, not even a real doctor. Actually, the current one's a psychiatrist, so. No, I guess that counts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you, what do you think about people being doctors without having any medical expertise? Give me an example. Uh, like like an can, archaeologist? Like an archaeologist, you can be like... A, I guess technically the first one was an archaeologist, but I don't know if it was a doctor. Of, look, it doesn't matter. What about like, I have a friend who has a doctorate in business. Oh, yes. What do you think about that? Is he the one who listens to the show? No. <laughs> then I think it's garbage. No, no. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. No, I just think, like, why Why do they have to be doctors? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm not against it, but wh- why? Maybe... I they, think there's confusion with that as well. Maybe the te- the terminology should change. Yeah. And if you're, like, a doctor of business, you're called doctor, you know, what have you, Smith. But if you're a, a medical doctor, you should be called real doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Because it's on your passport and stuff. Or, the, like, the business people could be called fake doctors. Fake doctors. Fake Dr. Smith. Foctors. Oh, very good. There we go, Mason. Okay, just to be clear, the first Dr. Fate, he's a he's an archaeologist. Yeah. And in some cases, if he's a physician. Like, he decided to be a physician and an archaeologist. He's got two skills. I feel maybe what he actually is is a fraud. <laughs> like, he's just like... He's just bloody catch me if you canning all about the place. Like, oh, I'm he's, an archaeologist. He's the pretender of, yeah, the, of the DC that's universe. That's true, he is, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. fantastic. Well, Mason, you know what it's time for then. What's it time for? It's time for our bloody superhero showdown, mate. Ah. We do these every, I don't want to say 25 episodes, Something like that, yeah. I don't know, just, or just whenever we're like, have we done one of them in a while? <laughs> yeah. When should we get around to it? What are we doing the last one? Are we going to just do them again accidentally? Now, the rule that we set this time or the guideline was uh, literary or cinematic characters. Yeah, uh uh-huh. So, excluding comic book characters. But that being said, it's just whatever. Sure. Yeah. So, basically, uh, our listeners, the Weekly Wacker to Do's, have uh, have messaged in, tweeted at us. A hashtag a Weekly Weekly Planet Planet Pod. Pod, And they've given us, uh, each, each person's given us two characters. They want us to do battle and we will determine who is the winner. Of course, Mason, there are rules, there are rules. associated with yeah. this battle. <laughs> there, yep. Care to remind the good folks Okay, listening. so the rules are yeah. each character appears at the opposite end of a standard size American football field. Yes. Now, we've never been on an American football field. No. Or even seen one in person. Correct. But we assume they're pretty good and good for fighting on. Well, they're, right? where they're rectangle, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're pretty, pretty good, right? <laughs> Okay, so they appear. Yes. It's just them. They appear with the standard equipment they would have yeah. normally on them. No vehicles. No vehicles unless that's unless part of the character. Can, unless they can summon it. Yeah, that, yeah. that'll that'll do it. Mm. Uh, let's see. They see the other one. They immediately perceive the other one as a threat. Yes. And they act as they normally would towards the threat. Correct. So if it's a character who would kill people, they go in for the kill. Yes. If it's a character who doesn't, they will go in for the... Not kill. The not kill. And the other example is uh, characters who are reluctant to kill but will. So like Wolverine might not initially kill, Mm -hmm. but then as it escalates, would then... If he isn't immediately successful, he will kill that person. (laughs) That's right. So uh, He might be like, are you friends with Professor X in any way? Will this come (laughs) back... Will this, will this come back to me in a bad way in any way? No? All right, you're dead. Am I gonna, yeah, am I going to have a sit-down meeting? Because I'm <laughs> not in the mood, frankly. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's bloody get into it. There's also uh, a list on the Reddit, mm-hmm. which we've gone through, and some tweets, which people people have hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Do you want me to kick it off? or do you Please want to kick do. It off? Okay, this first one. Oh, I, also, I should say um, our decisions are final, but also we're not really that concerned. And yeah, don't, we don't. If you think the opposite <laughs> is true, you know what? It probably is. <laughs> We, we won't we won't fight you about it. This is from uh, Matthew or Sisk underscore underscore Sisk underscore underscore Sisk. God, that's he's hard having to say. that stroke. Guys. Underscore Sisk is hard to say. All right, maybe it's, it's like summoning a demon. Yeah, like, it's not right. If you say underscore Sisk too many times in a mirror, he'll appear <laughs> on a football field. Uh, Star Lord versus Han Solo. Okay, sure. Now I'm presuming in his day, Han Solo, not Grumpy Old Gramps. Recent yeah, oh, that's right. We also Solo. say in their prime. Yeah. Unless we've determined otherwise, yes. it's the character in their prime. That's right. Okay. So, so it's Star-Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously. Probably maybe the conclusion of the first movie. Absolutely. So he's seen some stuff. Yep. Uh, but he's had some time to recuperate. Definitely. Uh-huh. I would say this is Han Solo before he goes into the... Before he falls in love. Okay, sure. Because then he's in his prime. Saying, he's got nothing right. to lose, mate. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. You're saying that love is ultimately his downfall. Yes. And the downfall of everyone. Yes. Well, wow. well that, that, okay, spoiler alert, that literally is his downfall. His son murders him. Oh, I guess, sure. It's his downfall. But I mean, somebody inevitably would have murdered him anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just so, saying. all right. Yeah, but he wouldn't have put himself in that situation with somebody else. 
is what I'm saying. He wouldn't have walked out on that platform with Boba Fett. But no, but also I feel it's that Han Solo... See, I feel he's left a lot of illegitimate children behind. <laughs> right. And, like, maybe if, if, spoiler alert, his son didn't kill him in Force Awakens, a week later somebody else would have killed him. You know what I mean? I don't think Some so. Some other kid. He's wily, mate. Mm. Oh, like a different son. Like a different kid, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. yeah. Mm. okay, fair enough. Mm. All right, opposite ends of the football field, they both appear. Starlord has a bunch of gear. That's true. And Solo has a, a blaster and a little communicator. Sure, and that's right. pretty. And much that's it. useless because Chewie can't get to him here. He can. He could, he could summon the Falcon, I guess. But, no, but that's when's gonna... he summoned the Falcon? He'd be like, Chewie, bring the Falcon to where I am. No, Chewie doesn't know where he is. I wouldn't factor it. I'm, I wouldn't. I'm not saying. Okay, it cool. Would, it would. It would be a factor. Where is this football field? I feel it's. I've always pictured it. Tallahassee. As... No, I don't know. I've always pictured it as not on Earth. It's just sort of floating through space. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So they can knock the other person into space. Or is it oh, force fielded? I think it's force fielded. Okay. Yeah. I just thought it was just like a standard field in like Oklahoma or something. Oh, well, that's a lot. Look, but it even that's a long time in the future and a galaxy far, far away. Right, right. So even if he could summon Chewie. It's not happening. It's not happening. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Well, who's better hand to hand? Uh, Star-Lord. <laughs> yes. Han Solo might do the overhead punch yep, uh-huh. on, the, on your back. Yes. The two-fisted grip punch. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. But you see Star-Lord, like he can tangle with... Remember he tangles with Rocket Raccoon and Groot and Gamora. That's true, yeah. And he's he doesn't win, but he does. Yeah. Oh, he does pretty well. Uh huh. Yeah. They're all vicious killers. Yeah, but who and but Star Lord is less likely to kill. Han no, Sol. that being said, yes. Star Lord shot that dude like straight up. Remember in the in when he goes to get the orb. That's true, yeah. He, and thinking he didn't know that he wasn't going to kill him. That's true, but I think he would have gone in inherently knowing that that guy, like he'd done his research. Sure. So yeah. he knew that. There'd be bad guys on their way. He right, might, he right. might have known that guy. Yeah. You okay. Know. Fair enough. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think Han Solo is definitely more inclined to kill. Yeah. Well, we've seen him do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Constantly. Yeah. But do you he, think they'd both try to like swagger their way out of it initially with 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 quick talk, but it wouldn't work because they both do it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. It'd just be, it'd be using two Pokemon that don't mesh. <laughs> right. Just, just at each other. It might. Yeah. It might just end in them going. What? What? You're, you're doing the thing that I do. <laughs> what is? What is? But they can't. They can't team. They can't. They can't become pals. Here's the question: They're both a threat. They're both threats. Fair enough. Yep. Who's the quicker draw? Ooh. Is it Solo? I would. I would have said Star Lord. I th- yeah. Well, I guess you're Here's right. Solo is in a holster, like down by that's his knee. That's true. And he could have been preparing that for like ten minutes. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. He, could have been like, he does. You see him in yeah. Star Wars. He takes it out and aims it slowly. Yeah. yeah mm. Star Lord's like really quick. That's true. Yeah. Off the mark. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Also, he's got that weapon that like magnetizes people to it. Yeah, yeah or yeah. whatever it is. That that, that bolo thing, Yeah, know. exactly. Yeah. I think it's Star Lord. I think he's got more shit. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah, and he could probably take like, could he take a blaster, like a blaster shot? You know what? We don't know because yeah. his origin is 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 murky. Uh-huh. His father is Ego, the Living Planet. He can hold it. <laughs> his father is the indestructible Kurt Russell. <laughs> That's right. He can hold a gem. Yeah, and he. And it didn't kill him immediately. It would have killed him. Yeah. But most people, it would have. So I would say that, yeah, he's definitely more durable as mm-hmm. well than Han Solo. Yeah. But because Star Wars has set millions of years in the past, potentially, all of the people in Star Wars could be like 100 feet tall. <laughs> there's no way of <laughs> knowing, is there's, there? There's no scale. That's, we don't, we that's don't so know. true, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, if Han Solo's 100 feet tall... <laughs> I think he's got this. <laughs> right. But in other respects, yeah, I think... I just think Star Lord's more durable. Mm. I think that's what it would come down to. Yeah. yeah. And also, Han Solo ultimately is a bad shot. Over <laughs> a football true. field length, that's... How, do you, how, how close do you think they'd get before they started shooting? Well, if they perceived as threat... Yes. Remember when Han Solo saw Vader? Yeah, He was like straight, straight on it. That's so true, yeah. I think that's how that would go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't reckon he'd hit him. <laughs> Not from a football field. There's no chat. There's no way it hit him. That loosey goosey grip. Yeah, you're right. One to the left, one to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Dead. Okay, fair enough. Good start. Good one yeah, to start. Great on. start. You got one? No. <laughs> I can give you another one while you're okay, looking at it. Okay, go ahead. I'll try and find one. Yeah. Uh, this is from Elvis. Uh, who would win a fight between Harry? Wow, Pan- <laughs> Weekly Planet exclusive. He's still alive. <laughs> who would win a fight between Harry Potter and Doctor Strange? Oh. I get. I. I I'm fairly confident that Harry Potter would be killed. Or not beaten, because Harry Potter 
meets his friends. Oh, sure, right. Uh, Doctor Strange. I mean, I'm presuming it's the movie version. We don't really know what he can do yet. Yeah, that's right. But he can summon things out of nothing and step through dimensions and shoot stuff out of his hands. Harry Potter is always like, Ron, tell me. <laughs> Are you sure Doctor Strange wouldn't uh, underestimate the kid? Okay, that's possible, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. How do you think it would happen? Would go down? Doctor Strange doesn't need a. He doesn't need to go for anything either. That's true. Yeah. He can just. He's on. He's he's all hands and he's uh-huh. and he's yeah, ready. Yeah. Force fields. Does um. Does Harry Potter have like a silency kind of spell? They can. Is it like a silencio? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and also, Harry Potter in in this universe. You can cast a spell without saying it out loud. Once you get good at it, you can uh-huh. think it and then yeah, and uh-huh. then do it. Uh-huh. So Harry Potter doesn't necessarily need to speak to. Okay, right. In his prime, anyway. Yeah, because we don't. I I assume in Doctor Strange the movie. Mm. I don't think we can go movie version because we don't know what he can do. Yeah, yet. Okay, fair enough. I yeah. I feel Doctor Strange. A lot of his comic book wise, a lot of his spells, he has to say something. Right. Something ridiculous. <laughs> and it's usually quite long. It's longer than it really should be. It's an incantation. It's an incantation. Yeah, okay. And I think he'll get one of those out. Right. Harry Potter's like, oh, he needs to say stuff. I don't need to say nothing. Okay, And fair he'll give enough. him a bit, hit him a, with a bit of the silence. Right. And that, like that, that doesn't rule out everything that, that Strange has. Sure. But that's going to cut out a lot of stuff. Okay, fair How's enough. he going to do his bolts of bedevilment yeah, without saying the without words saying bolts it. of bedevilment? But can he do it without saying it? I don't think he can. Yeah. I think all the big stuff he has to say, right. he's doing it as I'm sure he could just it. be like, pull a force field around him or whatever. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think this is a long. I think this is a longer fight than you've anticipated. Oh, I don't know about that. Because no. okay, a slight spoiler alert for the for the new Harry Potter. I'm not going to spoil anything. Is this cursed child? Yeah. Oh, is this adult Harry Potter? Is adult. Well, no. I'm just saying what he can do. Okay, right. So he goes up against. Him. See, I'm going to say that cursed child Harry Potter is not Harry Potter in his prime. I, it's I, in his mid middle age slump. I agree. I agree. <laughs> it, but because he goes up against. He's fallen in love. <laughs> he's done. He's old. He's done. <laughs> He's like thirty six or something. He's got like a that. kid. He's really bloody. He's just. He's just not. He's not there, is he's, he? He's preoccupied <laughs> with things. But he goes up against a fairly formidable opponent. Yep. I would. Uh, I would say maybe probably less than Voldemort, but he's just. It's in a church or whatever, and he's just on the run. Like yep. he's not adept at dueling. Uh-huh. Like that's his job. Yes. Because he he works for the ministry and he and he tracks down retired Death Eaters and black magic or whatever. Uh-huh. But he's still not a great. Harry Potter's strength isn't the fact that he's a good wizard necessarily. Uh-huh. It's his friends and the fact that he's invincible for no reason. Oh sure, right. And how does and that doesn't apply. <laughs> no, that's true. In yeah. This situation. He doesn't have any wards against Doctor Strange just punching him repeatedly in the <laughs> that's face, right. which he would. I feel he would. Yeah, Strange is good hand to hand, isn't he? Yeah. Even though they're kind of broken, he can still fight. He's got the karate. Yeah. He could judo chop a man. All right, so you're going to give it to Strange, or are still you... enough? I am. Oh. I reckon he's going to. I reckon it's going to be a longer fight. Okay. Like, I mean, not much longer. Sure. <laughs> What's going to happen is he's going to underestimate the kid. Right. There's going to be a, a slightly ex- extended middle act where there's some confusion, <laughs> and then I guess he smothers him with the cloak of levitation. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Just what would wraps have, it around his face? Would Harry Potter have like? What else would he have on him? Harry Potter could kill if yeah. he wanted to as well. He's got that spell to kill. What is it? What is it? How does it work? Avada Kedavra. And then you've got to have all the hate in your heart and you shoot at somebody. You have to be able to do it. Yeah. You have to have that hate. Oh, he doesn't have it on him, does yeah. he? Well, he, who's this guy? He's not going to... I mean, he's a threat. That's all he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't know why. Well, then that... What else? Is, what are, lightning bolts? Fireballs? What's he yeah. got? Yeah, he didn't even do it to bloody... Yeah, he can do all that. Oh, okay. he, 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 he didn't even do it to Voldemort, though. Yeah. He's worstest of enemies. Oh, then he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Does Strange kill? Yeah. People? Ooh. Mm, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. But magical beings he does. Yeah. And this guy's magic. Mm. Or like he'll banish them to another dimension he'll or probably whatever. Probably do that, yeah. 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 He'd, he'd banish uh, Harry Potter. To some to, hell dimension. To the, well, to the, to the cupboard from whence he came. <laughs> he'd permanently just, just put him in there. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. like it if it was just cupboards within cupboards. Like he just kept, he's just trying to get out <laughs> oh, of the cupboard. It's so just good. infinite cupboards. Oh, oh good All stuff. Right, I'm gonna look for one right now. All right, I'm gonna look. Hmm. Oh, on our Q and A, uh, we mentioned we uh, we've had a reminder from Seamus Duffy, right. Jamie D on Twitter. 
Uh, we asked for a reminder for this. Electra versus Raphael. A sigh off. A sigh off. I do remember this. This is going to be a short one. But... <laughs> Who's better? Who's stronger? Raphael. Yeah. Who's huh. better with size? Electra. You reckon? Yes. He's just rage. Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's, he's just, just all rage. You're right. You're probably right. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, he just wants to be flailing his fists about. Yeah. It's just, he's just been given these size. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? If he lost him, he just keeps swinging. So, so, so do you think it would come down to finesse more than brute strength? I think so, yeah. Because she's a, she's a ninja as yeah. well. I mean, and he's, even if we take like nigh indestructible movie version, like the last couple of movie mm. Raphaels, yeah. like he's like a tank, but he's got some weak points. Specifically his neck. His neck. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And it would not take her long to just... Also, he's not a killer. That's true, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Not in the way that she is. And Ninja Turtles, they wouldn't fight girls, you know? No, they still... have, though. No, they have, but, yeah, you know. like Like Shredder's daughter and a yeah. few others and whatever, uh-huh. yeah. Mm. Mm. So, so Electra? Yeah. Agreed. Sight of the neck. <laughs> not. I don't think you could throw it. I think you'd have to get in Yo, close. Oh, and she would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want me to go on? Please, go ahead. Uh, this is from Ken Cross. Christopher Lambert's Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Oh, yes, good start. <laughs> versus Raul Julia's M. Bison from Street Fighter. Oh, so at their prime. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was... It wasn't Raul Julia's prime because he died immediately he died, after yes. this movie. But the character's prime. Well, see, that's the thing because... He's saying this because they're both light, lightning ca- using using yes. lightning. But the, the issue here is... That Raul Julia in Street Fighter only uses lightning after he's been killed <laughs> and brought back by his suit. His suit performs right. CPR on him, yeah, and yeah. then he comes back. So, and is the does the suit give him lightning? Yes. And he's like, "You didn't expect to face a god." Yeah. Uh huh. He's yelling that superconducting electromagnetism. He says <laughs> in his Raul Julia voice, probably the last thing he said on Superman. <laughs> superconducting electromagnetism. <laughs> Oh, I kind of love that movie. Yeah, it's pretty it's good. It's way better than Legend of Chun Li, which yeah, it is, is just yeah. boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Raiden's a god, isn't he? Yeah. But there's places Raiden can't go, but Earth is not one of them. Like he's ineffective in the Nether Realm in that movie or sure, something, yeah. isn't he? Is our football field in the Nether Realm? I don't think so. No, I don't think it is. It's just, I think it's just standard Earth football field. Yeah. I uh-huh. think. Didn't we say halftime at the Super Bowl? <laughs> Yeah, probably, yeah. I think we said that yeah. at some point. So, so half time the lot. Super Bowl, Beyonce's she's done her thing, she's 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 moved off. Yeah. And then and then they're like, attention, ladies and gentlemen, for your enjoyment, a fight. <laughs> <laughs> probably between two people, and maybe you vaguely know who one of them is, maybe you don't. Who's to say? In this situation, do you think Raul Julia would get the drop on him? Sorry, M. Bison, by yeah. dying instantly <laughs> to then be to to rise? Oh, so do you think? Uh, do you think Lambert would would kill him, uh-huh. and then think it's done? Oh, and then he's like, "I'm back." I don't think he'd win, no. but I think there'd be a like a what? Then that also in <laughs> in the Mortal Kombat universe, you can be a robot and fight a wizard. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, I guess so. it's not really clear about. Yeah, that's true. Who can do what or how yeah. anything well, works? Well, see, that's the thing. Like, because Raiden is the reason you can kill Raiden in Mortal Kombat is because he's in human form. Right. Okay. Like, I think if you if you killed him, like he might. Like, if you sliced him in half with a with a sharp yeah, hat, he'd return to life presumably at some point. Right. But but he is like he is only as powerful as a regular human. So okay. maybe you're right. Okay. In, in God form, this would be. Not good for Raul Julia. There'd be a very big and bloody explosion. Yeah, but I um, still think Raiden. Look, I think yeah. Look, I think if see how slow he was, Raul Julia, when he's flying. <laughs> oh boy, did I? Still in these ones. He's doing the Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That's pretty great. Uh but I think there's something in that. Raiden would kill him. <laughs> Also, but that, that's it depends a, how he kills him because if he fatalities him, if he yes. explodes his head, which is the one he does from the first Mortal Kombat, yeah. you could give him as much CPR as you want. He's not, <laughs> so not growing his head back, is it? No, yeah, that's true. So it depends how he kills him. Yeah, but if we go by Mortal Kombat rules, yeah. you can't immediately fatality somebody. Yeah, but right? he doesn't know that. I mean, in this scenario, it's not a Mortal Kombat match. I mean, it's so does he just go for the kill? No, but I'm I'm saying according to his own rules he can't. Okay, I guess. Like the rules of his universe. So he universe, thinks it's a tournament. No, I'm I'm saying that in in this universe, 
like nobody f- nobody thinks they can go for a fatality and Straight still up. the last person's like Whoa, I'm all woozy <laughs> and I'm about to it's the movie universe I've though I've got two seconds before a full oh, okay right okay alright I'm gonna say yes it is Raiden immediate fatality but if it's if he if he goes karate first mm. Raul Julia hits the dirt yeah and then somehow he's still connected to his island base and the the suit the his his base computer's resurrected that's a that's a big if. it's a big if isn't it <laughs> There's no Wi-Fi in '96. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Out. So no, you're probably right. Yeah. If he had, it, maybe if he's given that moment of surprise and Raiden turns around, like, you know, he's overconfident and he turns away, and the audience are just like, "What is this behind <laughs> you? <laughs> behind you? It's Raul Julia. He's oh, from the Adams family. The first and second one. Send the second one." I would. Oh, mate. He's probably in some very good art in independent movies as well, it's, but none of us have seen them. <laughs> We've just seen the Adams Family and Street Fighter. <laughs> anyway, he's be always oh, hit you. <laughs> then maybe he's got a check because he's Bison, right? Yeah, he's, he's good at fighting. Yeah, I don't think this version is. No, he's not. If but I'm going to give him some of his Street Fighter okay, skills fair at least. All right. Well, yeah. you know what? He can fight in the video game movie adaptation That's of true. the movie. So, which is canon. Which is canon, I guess. Yep. You got one? Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, this is from uh, Alex. Alex Bradley on... Uh, I assume that's Alex Bradley All right. on Twitter. Uh, hang on. A couple of people suggested this. My mm-hmm. phone's just locked up. You know what? It's all three of Simon Pegg's characters from the Cornetto trilogy. Against each other. Against each other. Well, one has guns. Correct. But a standard British cop yes. does not have guns. Correct. He has to and he doesn't have guns for a lot of it, but it's in his prime. No, it doesn't does count. Does that count? <laughs> no, it doesn't count. No. Because we're, we're not pulling them out of the moment in the film right. where they have the guns. Does that mean that Shaun of the Dead doesn't get a cricket bat? Correct. And that means that... But they might get assorted random gridiron items. Sure. <laughs> that are spread about. Okay. Yeah. So the world's end doesn't get a pint. You can just glass. No. Well, he's the oldest. He might get a uh he might get like a like a plastic, like a red solo cup of beer <laughs> that he could sort of That's true, they don't sell anything you can glass them no, on. No, that's right. The football. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I think World's End is the oldest and the drunkest. Correct. I think he's the w- most worst for wear. But he's the better, best at fighting, I feel. That's a really good point. Yeah. There's some great fight scenes in that. Yeah. Second, Hot Fuzz is very fit. Correct. Like super cop. Yep. Shaun of the Dead's like a clerk. Correct, like yes. A, you know, yeah. What is he? He works in like a vacuum store or something? Yeah. Can't and remember. also he is... Like a... He's Simon Pegg before he's gone fully Hollywood, right. so he hasn't worked out at all. <laughs> right, so, right. so under that short sleeve shirt, it, who's to and yeah. tie, who's to say? He hasn't you know got his I mean? Star Trek bod. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so we're ruling out Sean. Yeah. The he's dead? he's also who's more willing to kill in this scenario? Sean the Dead is willing to kill zombies. Zombies. Yes. But he's reluctant to kill people. Nicholas Angel from Hot Fuzz. Mm. Not willing to kill anyone. Right. Because he's always. He's a good cop. Yeah. he's. It's always a trick shot. Right, you know right. I mean? Okay, fair enough. Uh-huh. And there's no guns. There's also no guns, yes. But World's End, kind of a loose unit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like he's just smash. He smashes that dude's head open. Not, Correct. Not knowing that he's not a person. Correct, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's World's End. I think it's World's End. Because he's guy, the yeah. loosest unit. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, look, that being said, the Hot, like, hot Fuzz guy's probably very good at hand-to-hand. Yeah, yeah. But not... He's not. He's not like sci-fi kung fu. There are some crazy there's, moves there's in that. There's crazy movie. moves in that, right? That's such a. Good, they're all good. Good movies, yeah. man. They, I guess they they got the um the Scott Pilgrim virus where everybody's good right, at right. Everybody's good at kung fu fighting for some reason. You know what I mean? Is that a virus? No. No. Oh, I, I, I haven't read the comic. So, no, I'm yeah. saying cinematically. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Mm. So World's End. I think so. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Now I think this might become a staple of the series, or maybe <laughs> it's just the, this one time. Uh where we include a duck character. Oh, yes, sure. It's <laughs> from Stanley. Oh, sorry, uh-huh. Stephen Stankey. How about Duckwing Duck versus Howard the Duck? A true duck off. Last time we had <laughs> Scrooge McDuck versus Bruce Wayne. That's right. So Duckwing Duck, who's like the, the Disney equivalent of Batman. Correct. Versus Howard the Duck, who's the Marvel equivalent of something that George Lucas ruined. <laughs> Correct, yes. Well, which version of... What's the prime version of Howard the Duck? Comic Is, book, Howard the Duck. 
not Guardians? We don't know, do we? We don't know anything about him. Yeah. No. yeah. Isn't he real wily? Comic book version? He's real wily. Yeah. Yeah. Is he a murderer? Yeah. So it's- well, that's a good question, actually. Mm. Uh, what are you killing? Can duck kill duck is the question, <laughs> I guess. Like, he'd kill somebody if threatened, and he's probably got a gun on him, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a detective, right? Yeah. Private some- detective? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that much about him, if I'm honest. Let's do some I research. I know that real- terrible Look, movie. Look, he knows Quack Fu, yeah. which is the duck version of Kung But Darkwing Duck is also very adept at martial arts. Is he? It's, uh, not, he's not Batman, but he's, he's pretty good for that I feel he's, for is that he not universe. comically inept. No, he's inept, but he's not like... <laughs> but he's, he's, he's the most competent kind of superhero you could get in that universe. I guess universe. that's true. What about Gizmo Duck? Gizmo Duck's an idiot. Yeah, that's true. Gizmo Duck is I love Gizmo that was, Duck. That was a test and you passed the test. <laughs> Gizmo Duck's just stumbling around into shit. Mm-hmm. I love the Gizmo Duck design though. I think it's yeah. really cool. I Not knowing anything about Howard the Duck. Uh-huh. He's always getting out of a scrape. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is he strong? No, no stronger than a regular human duck. <laughs> man. Funny animal man. <laughs> well, that doesn't tell me anything. No, that's true, right? <laughs> Hang on, here we go. Well, it says here... Uh, Howard the Duck has shown some degree of mystic talent in the past to the point that Stephen Strange taught some spells to Howard and even to offered to train him, but Howard declined. Well, that's it, isn't it? So it might have the bolts of bedevilment. Yeah. If what's... he's got even one magic thing, yes. that's over. Well, what's Darkwing Duck got? He's got a like a grappling, grappling gun, gun yep. smoke pallets. Uh-huh. This is where we need it's a duck blur. That's what we need I know, to call right? in. Michael, Sarah, if you're, if you're listening to this. Help. Help. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Howard the Duck. Okay. All yeah. Right. All right, fine. But not the movie version. No. Because he's just a weird man in a mm. in a little duck suit. Mm. It's terrifying. Hang you on. got one? No. I can do another one. Okay, great. Do another one. This is from Ash Pogson, Indominus, Re- uh, Indominus oh, Rex yes. from Jurassic World. You saw this one? Yep. And versus King Kong? No, I got the Queen from Aliens. Oh, okay. King Kong so, would smash that. Which, well, it depends on the version. Yeah, he's see, giant. That's, yeah. Well, we should do both. And we've seen... Or neither. And we've seen... Moving on. But we've seen also King Kong fight two Tyrannosaurus Rexes at once. That's whilst true. Whilst saving a girl. But this is an Indominus Rex. Yeah, but he's he got... got a cloaking device of sorts. Yeah, I guess so. But there's only one of him. That's true. Mm. And also he's on a football field. What's he going <laughs> to... What's he going <laughs> to... Cloak against, yeah. yeah. So which one do you want to do? Both or, uh, or is that done? No, let's do your one. All right. The Queen from Aliens. Yes. Who's intelligent. Uh-huh. How's her strength though? Real strong. Hmm. Also acid for blood. Right. So yeah. if he sinks his teeth in. Yeah. I guess it's a question of who dies first. Right. Okay. But then, okay, what, what's the queen got there? She's got the lashy tail. She does have a lashy tail. This lashy speary tail. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon that would kill him through his head? Yeah. So that would be it? No. Oh. And even if he, even if it got her yes. and bit into her, yep. he would still die. From the acid. Yes, right. from the acid. <laughs> from the acid, yeah. What it would melt off his lower yeah, jaw uh-huh. and he'd die. I feel it's a case of they both... If, if presuming he survives the spear, yeah. she, she, she survives the spear. That was a lady, lady, lady battle. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, oh, what if they kiss? <laughs> uh, no. Presumably, if... if would, the, would the alien queen know to go for the brain? Yeah, I reckon. Well, she goes for Ripley's head. That's true. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's a big target as well. Yeah. All right. Assuming the Indominus Rex gets close enough, yeah. the alien queen goes for the spearing, right. misses. Mm. Maybe the Indominus Rex grabs it because she's, she's got the real hands. Oh, yeah, sure. She's got the real arms. Yeah, yeah. I feel it's a case of the Indominus Rex starts to tear into it and bite into it, the yeah. alien queen. Like and a crab. Yeah, and then it's a case of they just turn into this weird acidic mess. <laughs> and it's a case of which one hits the ground first. Right. Mm. Okay, fair Maybe enough. Maybe we should do King Kong versus Indominus Rex. Okay, sure. Which version? Uh, like the Peter Jackson version, I assume. Yes. Mm. So not the biggest one. No. But big enough. I, I re- I'm really looking forward to see what the new one can do. Yeah. Maybe I a cloaking device. Maybe, like he'd win. He's yeah. enormous. Maybe well. T-Rex arms. <laughs> maybe the new King Kong has T-Rex arms. Like regular arms yeah. and then little T-Rex arms. Well, Jurassic World was pretty good at inventing the new dinosaur, <laughs> but we think we've we've really cracked this. Well, that's right, yeah. What the people want is teeny little arms. <laughs> he's beating his li- he's beating his chest with <laughs> his little. teeny little arms. <laughs> All I can think about it. I think it, that's a better fight. Okay. Well, yeah. you're probably not wrong. Mm-hmm. But all I can think about is that scene in 
King Kong where he fights two Tyrannosauruses and, and he's he... got uh, Naomi Watts in one hand the whole time. Uh huh. And he still wins. Yeah. Like he gets banged up. But mm. then again, they're not intelligent the way that Indominus Correct. Rex is. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And also, I feel that fight was kind of. A bit too choreographed? Yes. And also, Indominus Rex can climb him. Right. Gets sure. the claws in, yeah. climbs up to its head. Bite, bites the neck? Bites the neck, maybe. But acid blood. <laughs> Oh, from King Kong, yeah, yeah absolutely, right. yeah. Yeah, Yeah. okay, yeah, you, you, you're probably right. Mm-hmm. King Kong's pretty punchy, though. Also, he can break a jaw with his bare hands. That's true. Claws. Sorry? Still still claws. Still claws? There's lots of claws. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Real, real arms. Yes. Yeah. So you think Indominus Rex? Mm, ooh, that's a good question, actually. You know what? Maybe not. Mm. Um, all right, how about this? They're battling. They're battling... Mm. They're battling do you think do you think the goalposts on a on a uh, football field could withstand King Kong standing on them? No, even for a second. Okay, I'm right. in for a second. Yeah, like he's gonna get up on them and then like take a leap, belly plant. <laughs> like what? What if he grab? Okay, what if what if Indominus Rex gets in there? Yeah, really tearing into him. He does a little a little quick hop onto the on yeah. the goalpost, flattens her. I don't know if that Flatten. would work, but I still think he could get. He could jump high enough to to flatten. Okay, I still yeah. think he's got that. Yeah, okay. he's got that maneuverability. Mm. Do you think when it when it gets down to the ground, King Kong's got it? Yes, in brawl. Yes, because he's a brawly kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, like if on their feet, different situation. Yeah. Uh-huh. But once you the uh, Indominus Rex has lost that counterbalance of the tail and and With all that, that. being said, though, Indominus Rex clawed feet as well, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. But King Kong also can go. He can go two feet and go four feet. Like he's kind of yeah. See, my initial thinking was if he got the Indominus Rex on the ground, mm. grab both the arms, headbutts, right. just a series of King Kong headbutts. That would, but then if she if she's still got the clawed feet, yeah, like she's tearing the guts out. Right, you know right. I mean? Okay, so yeah. it's just a pile of guts. Yeah, <laughs> of she bursts out of the pile of guts. <laughs> I think it might be Indominus Rex. All right, I'll yeah. give you that. Mm-hmm. Done. Yeah, got one ready to go. Let's see. Um. Oh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes versus Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock Holmes. Downey Jr. can like see the future of a fight, right? Some, so, yeah, there we or go. Some nonsense. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, you don't really see Benedict Cumberbatch fight. He sword fights somebody at some point. There's no swords though, is there? No, there are no scenario. swords. No, I'm not saying he can't fight. Yeah, he probably can. Right. Uh-huh. I'd say you almost certainly can. Uh-huh. But in the second Sherlock Holmes, I don't know if you've seen it. I have, yeah. Okay, well, he has a mind fight with Moriarty. That's right. And then decides that he can't win, so he throws him off the cliff. That's right, yeah. I don't even know what that means. Like, (laughs) what does that mean for a fight? I don't know. You know what it meant? It meant because that's how they died in the books. Okay, just like, yeah. Do you reckon there's going to be deductive reasonings? There's going to be like, well, I see you've got this on your shoe, which means you're blah, blah, blah. Would they determine through detective work that neither of them is a threat? Would that be a- No, because they are, they are a threat. Okay, sure. Yeah. Do you think they'd figure out that you're a version of me? Ooh. Good question. Mm. Do you think there'd be any conversation? Because I don't think... They're not the kind of guys that would just run at each other and start fighting. Uh-huh. I think there would be kind of a standoff. Uh-huh, some, sure. Some witty retorts. Oh, yes. Some kind of sizing up. Uh-huh. Some looking at if they've got any powder on their waistcoat. If they were <laughs> yes, definitely. Whatever, near yes. whatever. Yes. Yeah, so I don't think it would just be, it would devolve into a fight immediately. Uh huh. Yeah. Both killers also. They are. Both also, killers. it's established that Benedict Cumberbatch is a sociopath. Correct. Like yes. he says it. Yeah. He uh-huh. kills that guy, the Magnus or whatever he, remember it? it the last season? He just fl- flat out shoots that guy point blank. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I don't, Downey Jr. is a killer, but not like that. Yeah. Does Downey's character have a gun? Yeah, he's always waving a gun about. I wouldn't say he has one on him okay, all yeah. the time. Mm. He's probably got a like a cane with a knife in it yeah. or something. Cumberbatch doesn't carry a gun. That's true. Yeah. That that mm-hmm. that yeah. is for for certain. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You're call, You're saying I do, Jay. Yeah. Okay, I don't fine. like it. Yeah. No. Because it's <laughs> look. Nobody likes it. <laughs> nobody likes his weird mind palaces. Everybody hates him. God. Wait, that's the other one. They've all got mind palaces. Sure. Okay. Sick to death of mind palaces. <laughs> what do you got? You I got one? sure. Yeah. Uh, Gian Franco, Dom Toretto from Fast and Furious versus... Is that Ma- Vin Diesel? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I should have said. Uh, versus Mad Max Fury Road. Yes. Which is the optimum Mad Max, really. Yeah. Also, you've got to bear in mind that Vin Diesel from those movies is 
pretty much invincible. Right, yeah. Remember when he came back to life for no reason? That's right, yeah. The car park fell at him or whatever, or he <laughs> jumped the car over a yeah, helicopter. Because uh-huh. mm. in the first one, he gets banged up and his arm's broken. Yes. Remember with Paul Walker? Yeah, that's right. But that never, nothing like that kind of happens again. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Now, they're not in their cars. I want to be clear about this. Yes. Just Who's a better driver? Well, probably Dom. Mad yeah. Max is always totaling his car. He's a terrible driver. <laughs> so if we're saying in his prime... Yeah. Well, I mean, in his pr- Mad Max... Does it say specifically Fury Road there? It says Fury Road, Okay, yeah. right. Because in his prime... Prime is Thunderdome. Right. Because he's a superhero in yeah, Thunderdome. Yeah, right, right. He is, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the more even matchup. But for Fury Road... Fury yeah. Fury Road... Yeah, he's a terrible driver. Uh... But that's the desert, though. Yeah. So you gotta you got to factor that in. Uh-huh. Like, Vin Diesel's never been chased by, like, a hundred mutants. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, no, I'd, I mean, Vin Diesel probably has. <laughs> He's been chased by, you know, a hundred weird car fans. <laughs> sure, absolutely. You know? Yeah, so. Yeah. But in a fight, who's better in a fight? Who's got the skills? Uh, Vin Diesel took the, the two sticks and fought Statham. On the car park. Right, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, and Tom Hardy is... Tom Hardy gets hurt easier. Yes. But he's pretty durable. Like, he's got... I'd say he's got more grit. Okay. Like, he can be tortured and drowned and, you know, like, he can be in a massive... Like, remember he totals his car a couple of times in that movie and he's fine. But how does any of this help in a fight? I'm saying he's... He's durable. <laughs> sure, yeah. Like, in the same way that Indiana Jones is durable. Okay, sure. Like, he doesn't stop. Yes, mm. but Indiana Jones, his skill is taking a beating until environmental factors <laughs> Correct. You're right. move in, like the sun gets in somebody's eyes or they fall into a boat propeller or whatever. Right. Uh, so what is... Mad Max's skill is that he scrapes through until he's able to walk away at the end. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> After yeah. After the situation sort of resolves itself. Yeah. I don't know, without a gun, mm. in Fury Road, what's his, what's his best hand-to-hand kind of... He has that fight with... Uh, Charlie's Theron when he's chained to Nicholas Holt. That's pretty good. Okay. That's a good fight. Yeah, uh uh-huh. I like that movie. It's a good one. It's good. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I still think Vin Diesel is superhuman. Yeah. Mm. And he wasn't. No. But he is now. Correct, yes. Yeah, and if we're taking prime. Yeah. Yeah. Stick fighting Jason Statham. (laughs) That's right. Yeah, I don't... Mad Max is fast. Yeah. He's fast and skilled. Yeah. Vin Diesel's got family on his side. That's Not true. with him, but in his heart. In his heart. And it, regardless Mad Max of has, the distance. Mad Max's family is dead. That's so true. So, but they're still in his heart. Yeah, they more kind of scare him. And also they're, they're never coming back. <laughs> That's right. So. But he's always like he goes to do a thing and then one of them jumps out at him. That's true. Like it doesn't help him. He might have flashbacks on the field. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Because you're right. I want to say that Mad Max has some skills. Because you're right. That... that, mm. that scene where they're both going for the gun. Yeah. But if Mad Max, there's no gun on the field. No. What's he doing? Mm. Like, we don't know. And if he had a gun, it would misfire. <laughs> yeah, like, true. almost certainly. Yeah. yeah. And we don't know, like, how is he in a in a fist fight with the indestructible Vin Diesel? We don't, we don't know. I think it is Vin Diesel. I yeah. think you're probably right. Yeah. Hey, speaking of cars, I don't like it, Mason. No. <laughs> <laughs> but rules are rules. Uh, this is from 140 years on Reddit. Now, this is... This is probably against the rules a little bit, okay. but I thought it was interesting. If we're talking cars, um, oh, hang on, I've lost it. Great. Good one, idiot. No, no, I'll find it again. This is going to be really good. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. I mean, I've been ready. Have you found it? No. Okay, so this is from 140 years on Twitter. Uh, Batman versus Mad Max versus Speed Racer versus James Bond. Caveat, they all have to stay in their cars. Oh, so can it's you go uh, again from the top? Batman. Yep. You're familiar with his work. Yep. Mad Max. Which version? Batman. Yeah. Uh, we've got to go cinematic. So I think we're going Ben Affleck, right? Yeah, we're going Ben Affleck, yeah. Oh, that's that's a car. <laughs> that's a bloody car and half. Or do we have to go... Yeah, but that's not an iconic version of the car. Somebody suggested underneath this which, which Batman be. Even if it's the Tumblr. Yeah. Well, what are the other... Anyway, we'll, we'll get back to that. Okay, some, the, the, the 140 years is the guy suggested it. Uh, it's up to them. I would say some version of the 89 Returns Forever animated series Batman, Batmobile. Okay, sure. it's the Fair iconic enough. version. All right, done. Yeah. Uh, so Mad Max. Yep. Speed Racer. James Bond. Have to stay in the car. Demolition Derby style. Which Bond? Daniel Craig. So he doesn't have an invisible car. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Although that would add a fun little it wrinkle, wouldn't would. it? certainly would. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of room for manoeuvrability. And the Batmobile... No, the uh, uh, bloody American football feels pretty big. 
yeah, but if you've got eight cars on there or whatever it is, yeah, even, yeah. But also the, the that version of the Batmobile has to shoot a grappling hook to turn a regular corner. <laughs> That's true, yes. So, yeah. What, what are you, what are you, what are you doing there, you know? He's probably parking and putting the shields up. <laughs> <laughs> and then just waiting. Yeah, that's, that's pr- waiting probably it right. Yeah. Mad Max would, would crash his. Immediately. <laughs> Almost immediately. I don't know much about Speed Racer. The Mark V. Other than speed and racing. Yeah. What do you know about him? Uh, let's see. Uh, Is he a killer? <laughs> no, he's not a killer. <laughs> okay. That's true. He's, he's, well, see, here's the thing. He's not a killer. Yeah. And also, the Mark V is like, it has an open top. Right. And also, for it's the not, most part. He's not... It's not a combat car. Not well. And he, oh, isn't it? Is it? Uh, well, I mean, it's got it's got like like saw blades. And oh, it's really? Got like, yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. it is a combat car. Yeah. Okay, so and I it's kind I, of it's, it's more or less indestructible. But it has an open top. Yes. Sometimes it's got the, you can put the cover on, but like when he's driving it, like in competition, open top. Hmm. Yeah. And this is a competition. <laughs> yes, that's true. Do you think there's yeah. any chance that Batman could shoot him through the head with a grappling hook? I mean, he wouldn't. There's no, a would chance he? Bond could shoot him through the head with <laughs> a handgun. <laughs> Bond Bond would have a, a gun also, like in the in the yeah, dashboard, exactly. in he'd the have da- many guns. glove compartment. Which which I mean, but of... even he'd have a handgun. Yeah, no, I would absolutely. Say, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think also it has to be the Aston Martin DB5 if it's the classic. So not the gadgets one. No, that's this. This is the gadgets one. Okay. So this is machine. Because no, you know he's got the one that doesn't have the gadgets. He's got the Casino Royale one doesn't have gadgets. Oh, sure. Yeah, no. This but we're, is not, the, we're giving the gadgets No, this one. is the Skyfall one okay. and the, the classic version. So it's got machine guns in the headlights, yeah. oil slick, ejector seat. So all he has to do is get somebody in that passenger seat. <laughs> eject him. They're, they're done. So he's like, Batman, get, get, get I'll help you. <laughs> get <mate."> in here. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> I think it's Batman from just sitting it out. I think Maybe. like Mad Max, if drove at him, he could just put the shell over it and... Mad Max's Mad Max car would flip just, it. Yeah. Okay, so he's out immediately. <laughs> Look, ultimately, Mad Max's car isn't very good. Like it only it's only no. good it's only good in a universe where this isn't happening. <laughs> and also, it's not even that good in no, the exa- universe. Yeah, exactly. Like it's not as good as a monster truck. No. Yeah. Look, I think his cars are yeah, I think Mad Max is immediately out. Okay. Because it's it's a what can he do? <laughs> why, why, is, why is Fury Road so entertaining? He's not good at anything. But that's why it's entertaining. I guess that's true, yeah. yeah. Now, he flips it immediately on Batman's shield. <laughs> or on Mark, the Mark V. He connects with the Mark V, it flips. Right, right. Yeah. And or, depending how he lands, he could kill Speed Racer. That's true. He could land, yeah, crush his head. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's, let's go with that. All right. <laughs> Batman, for, through waiting it out? He's no, got so many no. gadgets. He's, I don't think he... No. Uh, the classic Batmobile is somewhat bullet resistant. Yeah. But it's not indestructible. Sure. Yeah. But... but uh, uh, pff, James- what if he switches to the bloody... The, the, the bat... That bat rocket sled thing. <laughs> Remember? It's in the middle of it. Uh, from true. Batman Returns. Would he? No. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe last minute? Yeah. Yeah. Did Nolan steal that idea? <laughs> Yeah, kind of. He did, it's an homage. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would that be in the Tumblr? Yeah, I, I know you're against it. I'm very I, I'm, against I'm it. I'm well aware. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, how long can he wait it out, though, is my question. Long enough for Mad Max to flip his own car. Yep. James Bond to shoot Speed Racer through the head. <laughs> Speed Racer's car isn't bulletproof, I presume. No, it is. It's a what? Yeah, it's bulletproof. Is the windows bulletproof? Yeah. He'd roll them up. Straight away, <laughs> Just like straight roll away. Up. Yeah, yeah. Do you no, think it's he... made of some sort of weird? It's made of some sort of weird, like super duro aluminium compound or something like that. <sighs> and so you just like apply an electric. Like if it's got a ding in it, you just apply an electrical current to it and it undings itself. Like it's could it fix itself? No, in... no. Okay. Also, he's got. Also, he's got the monkey in the in the boot. <laughs> he's got the monkey and his weird little cousin or whatever, his little brother in the boot. <laughs> you can't bring another person. Or are they always in they're there? All, they're mostly in They're almost <laughs> okay, certainly right, going to be. Because every episode of Speed Racer, it's like, now you you little kid and your monkey don't get in the boot of the, the Mark V because Speed's got to do an important race. And then two seconds later, they're like, we're in the boot of the car. <laughs> so they're in there. They're definitely in there and Bond's going to kill them. Okay, fair enough. So they're going to pop the boot during the, the battle. I think so. And Bond is going to also perceive them as a threat. And kill them, yes. Mm. Yeah. And I think Bond could kill everybody except Batman. Yeah. Like he's got a limit to bullets as well. That's true. Mm. It's bulletproof enough. That I think the so. Yeah. yeah. Also, it has rockets. 
presumably. These versions? The Batman 89 version. Yeah, well, all that. That's well, it's, got a, it's got machine guns. Yeah, that, that'll do. I mean, James Bond's car isn't bulletproof, as we yeah, saw. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh no, that's not. Right, that version's trashed. definitely not. All right, yeah, that's yeah. fair enough, yeah. He wouldn't yeah, actually, kill that's, him. That's and... probably true. I reckon Speed Racer and Mad Max go immediately. Yeah. And then it's just Batman, Bond, f- machine gun face off. Because <laughs> these versions have no compunction against killing... Each other. Oh, that's a good point. I yeah. forgot Batman's a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's Batman, I would say. Mm, ejector seat, though. Can't leave the car, though. Okay, no, you're right. It is Batman. Because <laughs> if you leave the car, you lose the demolition derby. Good. All right. Yeah. And you, you just, you're just right for being shot out of the air. That's true, as yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah. Unless, like, my feeling would be if eventually, I think the only other way it could go mm. is if they both run out of machine gun bullets and gimmicks. Yeah. And then they both like like open the top of the car. Right. Just to just to get just the lay of the peak. land. And then James Bond shoots Batman in the mouth. <laughs> Which he could do. Yeah. Mm. I don't think Batman's that dumb though. Well, this version though. He's kinda dumb. He's kinda dumb. Yeah. Okay, that's a possibility. That's I'm true. open to it. Yeah. Or if they or if they because what could potentially happen is they like sideswipe each other with the with the, mm. the canopies open. And James Bond like tears his Batman's fruit roll up mask off, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's right for a killing. That is the right next for a kill. pass, he's dead. But that's a pretty wide car. That is, yeah. Like that's Bond, true. how far is he reaching? He's got to reach, yeah, too far. Craig's right. got little monkey arms. That's like, true. You're not, right. He's not. He's got. That he's far. got. He's got King Kong's Tyrannosaurus. Rex I still arms. think he could shoot him through the mouth, though. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh. still giving it to Batman, just yeah. for a more durable car. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that'd be interesting. No, I think you're right because machine. Batman would machine gun the car, yeah. eject a seat, and that's... Or torch it. He's got, it's got, like, yeah. flames. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It wouldn't matter. All right, it's Batman. All right. Mm-hmm. What do you got? What do you want me to do? Yeah, you do, do you do one? Uh, I does... literally just did one. It was that one. Oh, you did too. I just closed. <laughs> oh, no! My thing. My browser. Bloody hell, Google Drive's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got, some, got some stuff on Google Drive? It's great, man, because you don't have to save anything. It's just automatically... Uh-huh. Google, if you're listening, I'm open to sponsorship. Nice. Very They've got much a lot so. of money too. All right, what about this one? I'm Jessica ready. Speed. Snake Plissken versus Nick Fury. Oh, Battle of the Eye Patches. Battle of the Eye Patches. <sighs> Movie version. Okay, sure. Not Hasselhoff. <laughs> right. I assume. Okay, good. Uh, have we ever seen him fight? No. We've seen him think on his feet. Yes. We've, we've seen him with a good solid action sequence. That one. <laughs> Yeah, that one. That's great. That's oh, a great it's, action it's sequence. The, it's the best. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've seen him shoot people. Sure. He could probably talk a man out of shooting him. Not Snake Plissken. No, nah, you're right. Not Snake Plissken. In, in fact, what would work though on Snake Plissken is reverse reverse psychology. Because if you were like, there's no way you're going to shoot me Snake Plissken, he would. But if you're like... There's no way you wouldn't. W- wouldn't w- shoot me Snake Plissken... He wouldn't shoot you out of spite, I would imagine. He is very, yeah, he is like that, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Maybe he has that op- oppositional defiant disorder syndrome thing. You know? Almost certainly. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. How's Pliskin in a fight? I don't remember. He's a great surfer. Yes, that's that true. That I don't doubt. Yep. Uh, uh, has he got guns? They've both got guns, I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh-huh. They would. Who's a better shot? Fury. Fury can hit a bloody a plane with a rocket launcher. Correct. And another car with a little machine gun. Uh-huh. <laughs> but is he, have you ever seen him, like, point blank shoot somebody? Must have done, surely. He would have. Yeah. I'm sure he's killed, like... Office workers. Yeah, sure, office, workers. office workers. Yeah, yeah. haven't made their KPIs, yes. But he's still quite old. Yep. Like, you got to factor that in. Like, uh-huh. he's no spring chicken. Snake Plissken's probably 30, 35, maybe. Okay. Hmm. And Snake Plissken, he's a brawler. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a tough guy. He's mm-hmm. got no sleeves. Doesn't need them. Well, that's true. Or is that was that a weakness? Uh, for Chinese burns. <laughs> yes. Sir. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Don't mm. know enough about him. Well, I do, actually. Depth perception. Yep. Bad. I mean, that's, that's not, I mean, that's not going to impede either of them. Correct. And, and they'd both be used to it also. Uh-huh. No, I think Snake Plissken is probably the better shot. He's better at surviving on the streets. He's more dangerous. Fury is, is an office man. Oh, yes. In a way. You he's gone I mean? soft is what you're saying. Um, yeah, he's soft-ish. Yeah, sure. okay. Uh-huh. 
He's got more secrets, but that's no that's not gonna help you, is it? No. It's gonna help you being riddled with bullets. Uh-huh. And I think Splitskin's a better fighter, so if it came down to it. Okay. Should we do one more or two more? Let's Wrap do it two up. more. Two more. Okay. I've got a few here. I don't know which one to pick. Okay. Uh Angus Joker on Reddit has said Professor Xavier versus Oracle in a wheelchair race. Oracle. <laughs> Yeah, well, she's, she's fitter. She's so fit. She was Batgirl. Not even a question. Not even a question. Mm-hmm. Do you want another one? Or? Yes, please go. Sure. No, go ahead. Uh, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader. Kylo Ren versus Darth Vader. Yeah. Now, Kylo Ren is upset that he's not going <laughs> to be as powerful as Darth Vader. Uh-huh. But I would argue that he is probably more powerful with the Force. He can stop a blaster bolt midair. Yes, he can. He's also he can like bring some like he can pick somebody up bodily and like bring him over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Vader can. Vader's got skills as well. Yeah, but Vader has no pain threshold. How do you mean? Or if he does, sorry, is as an incredibly high pain threshold. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, that makes way more sense. Like he'd probably have no nerve endings. That's true. Yeah, he can take a severe beating. Yeah, and he's mm. fine. Yep. Or you know, now in this scenario, mm. we're going to say neither of them is overcome by emotion, but by the fact <laughs> that they're the, whatever. No. But, but, okay, none of that. It's just Kylo Ren would presume that's not the real Darth Vader, right? And Darth Vader would be like, "Who's this idiot?" Exactly. Because he doesn't know. Yeah. Who he is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's a good question. There's a broad. He's also got more of a broadsword. Yeah. Okay. If that makes any difference. Right. So this is Darth Vader in his prime. So, but it's not Anakin. No, Anakin, okay. I think Anakin would be. Yeah. Uh, Kylo Ren. Oh, absolutely. But uh, so this is Darth Vader, let's say, just before. Let's say, what have we. Yeah, see if you've seen Star Wars Rebels? Around then. Okay. So just before a new hope. I haven't, but okay. Yeah, just. Yeah, so very dangerous. No remorse. Not pinned, not tied down by family. No no biological limbs of any kind. Exactly. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. his weaknesses, again, is his family. Mm, so that's true. It's, it's before all that. And okay, so, but okay, so Darth Vader is. Technically, he's much more skilled as a as a sword. Well, fighter. he's been trained trained as an actual by, Jedi by real Jedi. Yeah, yeah okay. And but he's killed real Jedi. Sure, as well. yeah, yeah. But he is much slower. Yes. Mm. And Kylo Ren, we haven't actually seen Kylo Ren fight in his prime. That's true. Because he he was shot. Uh huh. And that was like, and everybody else who got hit with that bowcaster flew like has, 100 yeah, feet. That is, he's the, literally the only person who hasn't died immediately yeah. after being shot by one of those. So, Which is pretty pretty yeah. impressive, mate. Mm-hmm, yeah. So, hmm. I think Vader is more unstoppable. Uh-huh. Kylo Ren can clearly be flustered. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, and, and, he, and he can be worn down. I don't think Vader gets worn down in the same in the same way. No, that's well, true. We've got mechanized limbs. So that's true. For yeah. one. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I think it would be Vader on brute strength and, and endurance. Okay, sure. Yeah. That's why I think that would go. Do you think that Kylo Ren would immediately go to using the force? Because he'll he'll stop Probably, a, yeah. he'll stop a blaster bolt, he'll grab a what do all the buttons on Darth Vader's chest do? What do they do? That's a good question. Well, they used to do a whole bunch of stuff. What if he just flips all of them using the Force? <laughs> yeah. oh, we've, we've mentioned this before. Why is it that when people aren't... Uh, uh, when when Jedi and, and Sith's uh, a lightsaber battling, yeah. why aren't they always just switching each other's lightsabers on and on? Because they're using the Force to keep their own keep on. Keep them on, okay, right. Yeah, and okay. Vader could probably do the same thing with his chest Can he plate. though? Yeah. I mean, you, could, you know, it was interesting in a recent Darth Vader comic, yes. a guy has... The keys, essentially. Like, you know, like how you lock a car yeah. to Vader's suit and oh. shuts him down. Okay. And so Vader can't move. Uh-huh. And then using the force, he gets up. Right. And powers the limbs and kills the guy. Uh-huh. So he's that kind of... Okay. Is that, he's got that kind of kind of resolve. Right, okay. Yeah. How long did that... What did the... Okay, what, the guy, when the guy um, car remoted him, <laughs> yeah. what, did he, what did he then do? Did he walk away? No, he just kind of stood there while Vader had f- weird flashbacks. <laughs> okay. See, that's the thing. Like, I think if you stand about... Yeah. I, re- I, I reckon Kylo could take this, technically. Like, he's overconfident and yeah. he's easily flustered. But if he flips all the switches... If he could. If he could flip all the switches... But that's the thing, like... <laughs> I'd d- love to see that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, like, Darth Vader's never fought anybody who c- who knows... Like he's never fought a Jedi while wearing that getup. Yes, really. he has. Uh, he killed a bunch of Jedi through after the the purge or whatever. No man. Yeah, I don't think any of them ex- expecting that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. 
Look, I'm, I'm not saying definitively, but yeah. in a way I am saying definitively. <laughs> I reckon if he flips all the switches and then beheads him real quick. Yeah, it's possible. And then that's done. Like, this could be over very quickly. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say Vader. Sometimes we disagree, Mason. That's true. Or do we yeah. have to bring it to... No, we don't have to, I guess. <laughs> that's true. Will uh, that do it? Let me think. Oh, we should come to a consensus on this. Okay, fine. You win. No. Nah, oh, okay, great. <laughs> great, good. Look, as long as I win... <laughs> Should we do any more or should we save them? Nah, let's save them. All right, good stuff. That, I've got a whole bunch here that I haven't even read out. We got we got hundreds, oh, thousands we got hundreds maybe. Time, yeah. I, I have no idea how many. So we really appreciate it. We love doing this. We're happy to do one until we're eventually pressured into doing another. What, whatever. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, I know right? what you're talking about. Yeah. Whatever I said then. Mm. You know what it's time for, Mason? What's it time for? Our famous segment. Ooh. What are we reading? What we gonna read? I'm doing the theme. God, Mason. Yes. What are you reading? Uh, you oh know what? God. This I said I was going to re- uh, watch Hardcore Henry. I didn't. We already had this conversation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just just to refresh. Gotcha. In case somebody took Previously a break. Previously on. Previous, earlier this episode. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, instead I watched the Neighbours films. You know, Bad Neighbours? I watched that the other day. Huh. Yesterday. Yeah, Bad Neighbours 2. Yeah. I, so did I. What would you think? They're pretty good, They're pretty right? good, man. They're, They're solid. real solid. Zac Zach Efron. Yeah, bloody, he's, he's funny, man. He's a funny guy, he's right? He's funny. Yeah. What do you think of his bod? Rockin'. <laughs> Not as much in, in two. Real? I thought he was more in Is two. He? I yeah. can't tell. I'll be honest. I'll get you some side by side comparisons. Well, if you could, please. And then we'll, we'll go from there. No, yeah. they're good movies. They're, I'd say they're equally good, which is unusual. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think exactly. two didn't do super well, though. Like, it did okay, but uh-huh. they thought it was going to be much But bigger. at least it's, it's not a. It's not a straight... You'd think it'd be a straight-ahead total retread. Yeah. And, and, like, and it is in a way. There's parts yeah. of it, but it, it uh-huh. kind of twists it. But it's it. not... I, w- I, would, I went into it assuming, oh, this is going to be Hangover 2 yeah, retread, yeah. like exactly the same, yeah. except it's women instead of men. Yeah. But not different. There's some twists and turns twists along and the way. Twists and turns. Yeah, I remember the first time I'd seen Zac Efron really do anything was in 17 again. And uh-huh. I maintain... He's really funny in that. Okay, I've really seen it, but I'll give it a yeah. while. He's got some skills. Is that, that Tim Allen? Like, is Tim Allen the dad? No, that's uh, he's Matthew Perry from. That's he right. Gets de-aged or uh-huh, something. Yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe it's not good. <laughs> no, I remember really liking it. No, it's a classic body swap de-aging film. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I watched Fresh Meat. I've been watching all of Fresh Meat. We've made, I've mentioned this on a previous that's episode. That's right. You it's have. A good show, right? I finally got around to it. It's about uni students living in living in a house together. It's a British show. Mm-hmm. It's got one of the guys from the in-betweeners, various comedians and, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It pretty much nails what it's like to kind of go to uni. Yeah. It's not all just like wild parties and, and whatever. There's like anxieties with tests and, and kind of dealing with living with lunatics and all this kind of stuff. So, mm-hmm. And there's only like four seasons and then it's done. Yeah, nice. So, no, I know you've seen it, Mason. Yeah. But I recommend that you see it again. Oh, okay. Because you probably missed some of the new so, ones. So don't watch Hardcore Henry? No. Okay. you got to get around to that, though. I should. It's ready to bloody, it's bloody don't ready to go. Don't think that... You, you, you should do it like an Oculus rip, Rift. Like, oh, yeah. strap your iPad to your <laughs> and head. And then run around the streets of Melbourne. <laughs> Vomiting. Yeah, good. <laughs> Mason, <laughs> letters. I should have... I normally do a build-up. Yeah, right. I should have... It, the classic one was the letters, sorry. the letters, we love you, some letters, they're only a day away. We're going to hear right now, we're going to do letters. This is from Spencer Kipps, and he's hashtagged Weekly Planet Pod, because that's Very what you good. do if you want to reach the show. That's what you do. Okay. You do it on Twitter. All right, God. Uh, what's the best? God. What's the best? Could you hashtag it on Tumblr? You could, but we'd never check it. Where's that going? We'd never check it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of Tumblr. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what goes mm, on there. Yeah. Uh, what is the best sci-fi movie of the 2010s? Brackets. Big fan of the podcast and YouTube channel. Keep doing good. Oh. So since 2010 forward, Mason. Okay. Now I know you're a big fan of Looper. I am not. That is incorrect and wrong. I would put that up there. I think it's a good one, but I know you would not. Correct. What year did Sunshine come out? 2007. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yep, that's right. Well, would, you, would you count? Would you count Mad Max as sci-fi? Uh, or post-apocalyptic. I guess, but it's so it's more steampunk. Yeah, I like. I really like Inception. That's right on the cusp. That's oh, 2010. Inception's great. Inception is great. Yeah, yeah. Good and one. it's got because it's got. It's got they they've built this premise, mm. and there's there's a whole world kind of behind it, and you're like, well. What I'm, you know, it's a, it's a great movie, I think, and and stylish, and it looks good, and the action's sure. good, and stuff like that. And it's also like, I want to know more about the world. Like, 
what happened like what happened you know they they built this technology where else have they used it that kind of thing you know right right you know cool I mean? absolutely you know, you know what a bloody mean do you think we'd get a follow up to that ever no yeah probably not I don't think yeah Nolan Nolan's bloody doing his Dunkirks or whatever yeah source code's great as well source code is great yeah what about Snowpiercer I still haven't seen it it's really good yeah got it on your iPad uh, it's your on head. it's Run on around, it's on mate. Stan so don't don't you worry about that what about um, Ex Machina that's also great. Yeah. That's like solid sci-fi as well. Like that's that true. Is yeah. Like uh-huh. Your hardcore yep. thinking man sci-fi with a sexy robot. That's true. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow. That's sci-fi I lo- fantasy. I like it. I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't say I love it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I love Tron Legacy. I know nobody else does. I think that came out two thousand nine. Did it? Oh yeah. Mm. You idiot. Oh yeah. 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 Pretty good. What about the Planet of the Apes? The new ones. I like them a lot, but I've, I've I will not go back to them. I okay, don't think they're, fair that's they're they're not compelling. But I watch Inception like you know bloody heaps of times, mate. I'm gonna say Ex Machina, favorite or Snowpiercer. What about 2011's Real Steel, <laughs> but featuring Hugh Jackman? It's it's totally fine. I think I watched <laughs> it on a plane. Or I've something. never ever. Seen, have you seen Attack the Block? No, Boyega's, I've been meaning yeah. to watch that for age. I've right, heard it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've been. Yeah, I gotta watch that. Yeah. Scott, what's his name? It's especially if John Boyega is going to be poorly interviewed by us in this podcast. That's right, Mason. We're going to get him. Is that what we're doing? I had no idea. <laughs> do we do that? Is that no, what we do? I don't know if we do that. Yeah. But it's, it was very nice of people on Twitter to, because John Boyega put out a tweet and he's like, hey, I'm going to add podcasts to my interview yeah. schedule next year. And everyone, and some people were very nice and be like, go on the Weekly Planet. And like, do we do, we do that? Should we do it? Should we start some campaign or just leave it? Uh... What we could Bear do. Bear in mind, none of us have, neither of us have ever interviewed, interviewed anybody. Interviewed anyone, yeah, mm. yeah. What we could do is just wait till he comes to Australia and mill about his hotel. Okay. Yeah, right. All right, we'll do that instead. Yeah, great. Sounds good. Okay, cool. I'm going to think on that. Okay, cool. No, next question. Sure. Next letter. Yeah. Uh, this is from Kyle underscore the underscore Guile. Since Cap's team is on the run now. Yep. What do you think of a smaller scale secret Avengers movie? Great. That'd be really good. That would be very Winter Soldier-esque in that way. Yeah. Kind of you're low-key, you're down on the street, you're running through a mall wearing a hat over your <laughs> That's face. That's right. Uh, you're, wearing the, you're wearing the MCU I'm being discreet uniform, <laughs> which is baseball cap, aviator sunglasses, leather jacket. <laughs> Just put it on. Just put it no, on. No one will, no one will recognise yeah. you. Yeah. I would love that. Mm. I wonder if we're going to get a bit of that in the next Avengers film because there's talk or well, there's speculation that we're going to get two Avengers teams. We're going to get a secret underground version and then you Stark official... Uh-huh. So yeah, I wonder okay. whether, we, whether we are going to see something like that. I hope so. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because we, well, we've got Nomad. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Ready to go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you think he's just going to use an oven door? You'd have to. Painted red, white, and yeah. blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. It's a good idea. I don't, I don't think they'd be able to fit it in between now and... Uh, no. no. And I'm sure they won't call them the Secret Avengers. I don't think you call it Secret Avengers. I don't think you could. <sighs> that's right. Well, we can't move on until we, <laughs> until we decide... <laughs> Okay, you so can. What, yes. You can. Yeah, One fine. of us has to relent. Yep. Uh, this is from Runaway Rogan. Do you think that Rogue One is going to be, be better than Force Awakens? Oh. Also grab that gem. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. So you reach the show. Do I think it's going to be better. Ooh. I want it to be better. Yep. I don't know. Oh. Is the answer. <laughs> we can't move on until you know ah. definitively. You know what? Okay, fine. Even though there's been a bunch of reshoots, that doesn't necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I think it is going to be better uh-huh. because I really like The Force Awakens. Yep. But it is a retread in a lot of ways. Yes, it is. But also I liked, I knew that kind of going in, so I wasn't disappointed. I'm like, well, I know what J.J. Abrams does. We're going to get like a rehash. Yep. Uh-huh. This, I really want to see something different and I'm going to put a lot of faith in it and say, yes, it's going to be better. New territory. New stuff. Also, what do you think about the theory that uh, Snoke is Boba Fett? That's the latest one. It was on Reddit. What? Why would he have the Force? Exactly. <laughs> Somebody's put a... It's a very, very involved uh, scenario and he's put all the pieces together. Like he's all melted because he's been in the Sarlacc. That's it. That's that, it. That's, that works. Yeah. But other than that, no. no. It's... Why would a... Why would a... a bo- like a like a dirty old bounty hunter... <laughs> a be- dirty old New Zealand bounty hunter... Become a Jedi and rebuild the Empire... For purposes of getting back on like three people. Yeah. And like he'd just want Han Solo, wouldn't he really? Mm. Like ultimately. And ultimately Han Solo kicked him into that Sarlacc pit by accident. It's yeah. It's not really. It'd be better served just with a conversation. Hey, sorry about that. I apologize. I mean, you did 
you did capture me and put me in that it. weird block. So, you know. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Although, I guess maybe one of the theories is that he, he's trying to rebuild the Mandalorian culture. But we haven't seen any of that. But again, so. there's no indication that that guy's <laughs> good at anything, let alone knows the Force. That's true. Yeah. I have a new Snoke theory. Would you like to hear it? That I've come up with. It's not a joke one. Okay. <laughs> no, my theory is, and I'm sure some, I'm sure like there's a thousand versions of this. I bet you're the here. first one. Okay. Uh, it's that Snoke is all the evil that was in Luke Skywalker. What, and it's spilled out? Yep. In the cave? No, like... Like some, he, separa- he no, physically separated? Yes, he did. Somewhere like he went... <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Somewhere between six and seven. You know what? Yep. I don't hate that. There you go. But a, but it's a whole lot of new territory. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I'm not against it, Mason. Yep. It would have to be done very well. Because my my feeling is that if it turns out... the One of the reasons it can't be... Or that it shouldn't be Boba Fett or Jar Jar Binks or Lobot or yeah. whoever is because... For so many people, Force Awakens was their first Star Wars movie. Right, if you right. go, Snoke is this guy, every, you know, a huge chunk of the audience is going to be like, I don't know who that is. That being said, he does say that he's witnessed the rise and fall of oh. the Empire. So he'd have to have been be around to see that. What about the fall and rise? And he's got into... Yeah. Other way I around. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. that worked. But yeah, he was there for Fixed all... Fixed it. He's, all, he's there for all the significant moments. Uh-huh. But I think it's implied that he saw the Republic fall. Oh, uh, okay. So... I don't hate it though, Mason. Thank you. It's that's, like why a, it's, that's why he's all goopy because he looks like Darth Vader, but he's not Darth Vader. He's not Darth Vader. But he looks like Darth Vader because he's got the Skywalker evil in him. Everybody tweet at Mason mm. how dumb that is. Please do. <laughs> Please do. No, I don't hate it. With I'm minutiae. Not... <laughs> tweet at me minutiae why it couldn't work. And I'll block you. I'll block you all. I'll, I won't. Do you block? No. I'm not a blocker. Yeah. You know what I do do if someone is a... <laughs> do do. There you go. Yeah. If someone's a real prick mm-hmm. and it very rarely happens, I mute them. Yeah, because I think it's better than a block. Uh-huh. Because if they block people like that, I'd assume they'd be like, "Oh, I got to I'm a winner. winner." Yeah, exactly. But yeah. if you mute them, presumably they're just screaming at you forever, <laughs> and they, <laughs> That's don't, true, and yeah. they don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, last one because it's our hundred fiftieth special episode spectacular. I thought uh-huh. we'd do four questions because in in Return of the Jedi, he's all dressed in black, and then in Force Awakens, he's all dressed in white because the evil's gone. But so it's like Superman three where he splits. It's exactly like Superman three. <laughs> oh, you didn't say is Force Awakens which is going to be better, Rogue One? Oh, uh, that's a good question. No, Rogue One. Nah. I, I think Rogue One's going to be better. I want it to be better more. Yeah, than I, I think it will be. That. I think it also it'll be. You know, it'll be less divisive certainly. Okay. I think if it's a good movie, ninety nine percent of the people who are Star Wars fans are going to be like, it's a good movie because of the action and the casting and the acting and what have you. Yeah, yeah. But I think Force Awakens, even among Star Wars fans, it split people. Sure. Other people like that's mostly positive. Yeah, but, but yeah. I think Force Awakens, like some people, a, a, a decent chunk of people were like, well, this is a return to form, and another decent chunk of people were like, rehash, don't like it. I think it's a good jumping off point. Yeah, absolutely. And I think because you kind of had to rehash to get new fans on board as well. Yeah. You couldn't just be like, this is a straight continuation, and mm. you need to kind of reset the universe. So I get why they did it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I enjoyed it. Mm. Uh, so this is from Mr. Mixoplick. Conference. Great. You know that one? Uh, oh, he directed Wanted, yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> did Mr. S or Meso ever have a sausage sizzle at Bunnings? I heard this from another fa- famous Aussie at Smitty Chan. Uh, apparently said that. Hashtag Movie Planet Pod. Do you want to explain that? I love a Bunnings sausage sizzle. When you go to a Bunnings, which is like our hardware store, our home, like home Depot, Depot, yeah. Uh-huh. Ev- all the, every one of them, always, without fail, has a tent set up with <laughs> sausages on the go where you can bloody grab a sausage and bread with some sauce and some cheese or some onions or whatever you want. I never walk past them. Neither. Ever. I, I have, if I've just had lunch, mm. I will stop for a sausage. Me too. Yeah. Love a yeah. sausage and bread. Yeah. Do you go before or after? Going to Bunnings. Yeah. Oftentimes I'm, I'm, I'm just... You do both. No, oftentimes, speci- yeah, I, I have done that. <laughs> and sometimes I am not I'm going to Bunnings. I just see the sausage. Oh, you drop in. Just drop in for oh, a sausage. Fair enough. Yeah. See, I'd get on the way out because I'm mm. like, this would be my reward for going to a hardware huh. store because I hate these places. Now that I think about it, it's mostly way in and way out. I do both. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Now, Mason, before we wrap it up, I'm going to be on the Steel Wars live call-in show. Oh, yes. This Saturday, our time. Great. Australian EST, 11 a.m. Saturday. But if you're in the US, Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. Friday, uh, Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Fridays. Friday, this Friday. Apparently, I'm not exactly sure how it works. 
Steel and I will be having a convo. Correct. And then people are going to call in and you can abuse you, you yes. Can chat. Yeah, you can abuse me. Yeah. So if I've, if I've muted you on Twitter, now's, now's your, your opportunity chance. That's right. to get at me directly. Yeah. If you've been like, I've been shouting at him for quite some time and he hasn't responded in any way. Bear in mind, I haven't muted you if you're, if you're not a total prick over a long period of time. Right. If I haven't answered you, it's just because... We get a lot of tweets. We get a fair bit of theft yeah. you, yeah. That's going to be great. Yeah, so yeah, I'm hoping that, that, that goes well. So yeah. I'll be... Nice to chat to some people live. and I've never done that, so it'll be interesting. It's going to be great. I mean, I chat to you every week, but... It's not live. <sighs> no, uh, well, that's true. Se- secret, I pre-record all my responses. I don't know if you know that. I'm not even here. <laughs> this is all written. He, he pushes a button on a box, <laughs> and I'm here. Good stuff. Oh, Dan, just quickly, happy birthday to Abraham. Uh, Lincoln. From, yes. <laughs> Our first president. <laughs> he is uh, from his wife, Hope. He's turned 33. Uh, they've had 10 years together and he's been awesome and he even stayed... Four score and seven <laughs> years you've been together. Okay. Uh, he's been awesome and he even stayed through cancer. Wow. So happy 33rd happy birthday. Happy birthday, yeah. I don't normally do a birthday shout out, Mason, but I've done it this time. Because you hate birthdays. I hate birthdays. And Mondays. And Mondays. But you love lasagna. I love it, mate. You hate that bloody dog Odie that lives with you. <laughs> you hate Nermal. I do. John's yeah. a pain in my ass. Yeah. God. You don't even have a job. Why do you hate Mondays? <laughs> I guess because John hates Mondays because he has to go to yeah, work. Yeah, you just and bear the wrath. You bear the wrath of John. John's yeah. severe depression. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What a sad world that is. Just a man living with his cat <laughs> who hates him. Ugh. Yeah. It's pretty great. Anyway, Mason, where can people find us? Oh, uh, we're at Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter and Gmail and Facebook and Bandcamp. We've got some audio commentaries. We'll probably do, do a new one pretty soon-ish. Hopefully. And we might have some uh, extra Little bonus content stuff coming up over we the next couple of weeks. Because we recorded some stuff yeah. recent, last week. Uh, we just got to get sorted out some uh, how that's going to all come how together. How we're going to deliver it. That's also true. Mm-hmm. We'll hopefully get it up on Patreon a little bit earlier. Yeah. But regardless, you'll see it. Yeah. and uh, here, Here's mm. a good idea. Uh, if you if you like the show and you want to maybe get some surprise bonus content, just subscribe on iTunes. Yes. We might just throw it into the feed. Maybe. Maybe. But not this week, definitely. Not this week, not definitely. But, but do maybe next preemptively week. Preemptively do maybe. that, yeah. We'll just have to see. Uh, also follow The Weekly Planet on Twitter. Yep. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Yes. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies. Uh, let's see. If you want to help out the show, mm-hmm. um, 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 you could go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. Throw in a buck a month. Keep Correct. The, keep the lights on. Keep them on. Uh, we've got an Amazon affiliate link in the uh, episode description. In the script show. That's the one. So if you if you're gonna buy something on Amazon anyway, as you often do, buy some buy some bloody anything. You buy some light bulbs. You buy some buy some eggs. Adult entertainment products. I don't know. What do you what do you Sex like? Sex eggs. Yeah. <laughs> buy that buy that DVD you've always wanted of the Indominus Rex and the Alien Queen making out. <laughs> buy that. Uh, and uh, just you click on the link. You go through the regular Amazon. Pay the low prices. We get a kickback somehow. Correct. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, what, 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 band camp commentaries yep that's the one uh, yep uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our themes correct pretty good pretty bloody good mate I just want to quickly point out that uh, Raw Collings who does a lot of animated stuff he's the, at the Weekly, at the weekly Planet, Planet but he also has a Patreon uh, patreon.com slash Raw Collings mm. he's, he's finishing up university Oh, great. He's doing a bit of bloody video editing, and yeah. his, his bloody his stuff's on point, mate. You should subscribe to his YouTube channel because he makes a lot of yeah. uh, animated Weekly Planet. Uh, little, and he little runs clippity, the clippity doos. He runs the the Weekly Planet feed, as we mentioned, which yeah. you know, and he does that out of the goodness of his heart. Yeah. So I'm gonna chip some money in there from us as well. Great, and I'll link that below also. Mm. Mm. That's it. All right, I um I'm not gonna contribute anything, but I did alter his university transcripts, so he passes. <laughs> Good. So that's um, the greatest gift of all. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, Collins. Robert. That's the show, That's Mason. The show, I think, yeah. Thanks for 150 fantastic episodes. I've been on 150 of them. How many have you been on? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, you were sick or something. I don't know. Thank you. I was away both That's times. That's right, yeah. Well done on that fantastic 148 episodes, nice. Mason. Nice. I'll see you in two weeks when you've, you've cracked the one. I was going to spring that on you in two weeks, but you bloody, you bloody <laughs> beat me to it because I meant to do it in episode 100. I'm like, <laughs> fuck. So now I had to wait 50 episodes and you <laughs> bloody beat me to it. <laughs> I've waited a year. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Thanks for, thanks, for, thanks for listening, though. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Really thanks appreciate thanks it. for listening. Thanks, everybody, for telling people about the show. Yep. Enjoying it. Thanks for your nice reviews. Yeah. Always thanks helps. For, thanks for letting us know we're not alone in this, in this universe. Correct. Together. This is some kind of a ruse, all these statistics. Well, I, f- I feel statistics. maybe that was going to be the revelation. Is oh. that 
You've been building like hundreds of fake Twitter accounts <laughs> to be like, hey, I love the sh- that Wikipedia brand, I love the show, mate. And I'm like, oh, this feels pretty good. You know, that thing's not even on. No. Yeah. Shouting into nothing. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you at episode 151. Grab that gem, you guys. Bye. 149. Nah. I mean, officially. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs>